After talking shit to it. Yeah. Give us a call. Send us a DM. We'll do all that kind of masa, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. No, I'm not going to lie Hey, friends, man, listen to me. No. Are you headphones? No, not the mic, the headphones. No, it's very bien. No, it's very bien. No. Never. The limon la never. There we go. There we go. This diva. No, fuck, no, we're going to get a little diva this episode. It's not going to be me. I've never heard him <laughs> this, fucking. This Max? episode? Just a little this bit. one I know, right? There we go. Right there. That's good. Damn, bro. Yeah. Sorry, man. Just wanted to make sure I could hear everybody. Oh my way! Did you record him earlier? <laughs> what? He was farting. Se me fui a descargar el el el, el tanque. Yeah, bro. we we put a fucking mic on the toilet, bro. We secretly <laughs> record. Yeah, oh, this is what it sounds like. Dude, the other day I went into a restroom, bro, and I thought I was the only one in there. So I'm <laughs> fucking. So I was letting it rip. I was listening to something on the on the on the my headphones, so I didn't really. You know, it's muffled, we I don't know how loud it's shit. And I fucking met you on pinche pedote, we It felt good, way. And then I heard the stalls fucking open and some dude came out. I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> did, did, did we introduce a pinche Don Mentas over there? <laughs> but it's one of those things where, like, he, he didn't want to look at me in the but face. That's in caso. Like, I was, no, right he was, he was washing his hands and I was like, 
trying to look that way or kind of <laughs> don't look at me little like, puppet oh my bad bro i didn't know that somebody was in here but now nah, you didn't want to look at me <laughs> 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 like, that shit was bad. <laughs> that shit was bad. oh shit so but todos que nos están escuchando shit notice mm. that there's uh, an extra voice here we got a uh, we got the landlord today no, uh, look at landlord, huh? I got the landlord. No mames. Yeah, he said he, if I'm not in this episode, you guys are evicted. Yeah. Fucking, les voy a subir el pinche. A la verga. A la, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, so we, last week we didn't have a stairs, and so it's just for near me, and today we got an extra. I went to the casino. I took my dad. It was his birthday. How was that? Dude, he's fucking an addict. He's a fucking <laughs> savage addict addicted to gambling, man. Oh, man. ¿Cuánto ganó? ¿Cuánto perdió? ¿Salió? Él no perdió nada. Yo perdí 500 bucks. Oh, it's your money. <laughs> yeah, it's my money. Oh, it was his birthday. Shit. It was his birthday. Where, so I took him to the casino out and like, fuck, I don't even know where this was at. Where. And um, we were done by 3 o'clock. He's used to going to casinos where, and leaving till like 2, 3 in the morning. Where. So you took him kicking and screaming? Yeah, pretty much, I was just getting lucky, eh? Pretty much, bro. Apenas me estaba calentando, mijo. Okay, he's, all this money all of a sudden he has in his house that I don't know about. Okay, I, I have a hundred bucks in the casa where que te los pago. Préstame cien. And where did you fucking get a hundred bucks from? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hustling the other fucking uh, other tenants in that area it was bad bro so i had to fucking get them out where like you had to cut them out yeah i had to cut them out where but it, it, it's just like fuck i can't believe like these people were like did you play i played a little bit were you playing blackjack roulette nah nah i don't go in the tables way i'm fucking i've never had anybody show me like how the etiquette is like we were talking about etiquette before yeah. we started recording <laughs> Like etiquette and golf and smoking cigars or whatever. I don't understand the, de- the etiquette in some of these tables way. So I got to go with somebody. I think this guy understands it. Fernie, I'll break it down. Yeah. I get the tables. Blackjack used to be pretty, pretty good that way. But blackjack, but yeah. After the kids, put a pinche sal, way. <laughs> yeah. What are internet games for you? Put a Fortnite? No, well, it takes, I mean, if you're playing it right way, it takes a little bit of energy to just fucking, not, not counting way. I mean, I, I think I used to know how to count, but the must be as long as you like pay attention, and there's you know those little rules like the sound the little cards. The, the the only thing is like same thing like when you're counting cards way the when you're on that roll way when you get that little fucking streak like you, when you do, double you, down yeah you start, you start you start you start no way, you start betting higher pues because you go on little streaks so you go a little higher ya pierdes ya le bajas you know but if you follow those little rules you you hit like those little streaks so as long as you, you stu- when those little streaks you start betting like. If you're betting, ponle five bucks a hand, you go up to 10, 15, 20, depends on how te sientas or qué traes. Yeah. And then you start winning, then you start losing again. But now you start losing, you bring it back down to five. You bet it up again. But yeah. as long as you follow those little rules, usually you get those little streaks. There was some yeah. tweaker guy killing it in one of the tables, where <laughs> He was one of those dudes that is, I could tell his chick was the one that works, where He's just those guys that, <laughs> that tag along and spend lounge, money. Lounge lizard. Yeah, there's a lot of guys like that, way. Shit. You know, you know, I don't know. Where's you the lighter? It. We're smoking cigars. You have it. It's right there. Oh. You had one right there on the side. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's a pinche mamado. I don't know. Well, to make a pinche un huevo. But what was it? Was it towards San Diego, Esteban, or was it towards. Uh, yeah, some some kind of like uh, Native American lands where. Fucking get it off with. Fucking. Well, we're smoking cigars, man, so it's, <laughs> we're trying oh, sorry. to. Sorry. We're celebrating, uh, I don't know what, but it uh, feels good. So we're over here fucking bumping cigars in our Today's expensive uh, mics. N- National Mint Day. <laughs> oh, yeah, la hierba buena. <laughs> yeah, Ferdy, Ferdy hitting that shit like a fucking pokey, like a crack pipe. Yeah, you gotta be po- po- <laughs> you gotta, es que lo corté hey, un poco fucking shallow. Not right on here. the side, but it's gotta be forward. Pues así da miedo, güey, no mames. That's what I was like, güey. Así, an angle, an angle. Right. Just watch the pinky. Yeah. All right, güey. Fuck. Great fucking... It makes good rotate, rotate. Don't be a dick, where you don't listen to podcasts. There's people no, that spend two hours talking about some shit they're watching on the internet, and we're over here right. listening to it. You got it, you got it. Yeah, that, that light is a little intimidating, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feels good. <clears throat> yeah, so this tweaker was killing him, bro. Like, I know he was killing it because he had security in the back when he was screaming. Oh, like, all know. of a sudden, there was <laughs> three staff and then security behind them. I was like, damn, how much money did this guy win with? Oh, so they get get an escort or what? 
Well, they're, it's there. I guess I don't know how that works. Right? You didn't think it was just because he's being loud? No, nah, they won. Where because they were counting. There, there was like three fucking people on the table. The workers they were counting some shit, and then security was like way in the back, but like kind of seeing everything. You gotta think. There's people that that are fucking just go and hang out to see who wins, and then they follow their fuck and get around oh, yeah. home and shit. Yeah, that's a that's a fucking trance right there. I don't know. It's just going to the casino. Where it's just. Not my favorite thing, way, but fuck, way. No, not the usual casino, way. No, see, way. Not on my dad's terms, way. <laughs> you can't have fun, really, way. <laughs> so, you left, so you left them, and then you would go play the machines, or you were like not shadowing them or hovering over them, but keeping nah. an eye on them. Nah, because I mean, did he know what he was doing? Yeah, he knows how to play the. the he plays the slots, way. He knows. Oh, okay. He understands the like the. I mean, he's seventy, where he turned seventy on on oh, Tuesday. Oh damn. Yeah, the other little muertos where it's his birthday. Um, <laughs> he always hates that, but it's funny to me. November second. Yeah, yeah, November second. Oh, so shit. he's the kind of guy where that'll put money in, and then the machine starts making noises, and he starts touching the screen like if he's really channeling he's his doing, powers. He's doing some shit away. Some, yeah, so I some, don't like to be around that shit where this your, is your dad. Your dad's a brujo? Man? This is the dad that used to beat the shit out of you and now he's fucking caressing screens trying to win two bucks. Like. <laughs> that, that machine's getting more love than you ever did? <laughs> Seriously, bro. It's a little triggery. So I leave, I leave his ass. Yeah, but it's kind of hard, bro, because like, like he doesn't have a cell phone way, so I can't just leave him. Like, I, it's, He's like a child way. Like stay here. I keep that guy, right? Yeah, I can number one then. So I go do my own shit and I come back and he's gone. I'm like, dude, <laughs> you just saw <laughs> like a search party after. <laughs> you just told me you're gonna fucking be here and now you're gone, way. So it's so, que ya ya no estaba dando suerte la máquina. Yeah, so, so, so fue otra. It was a lot of babysitting, man. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> do you win in the in the machines? I feel like those are more rigged than the cards. I think so too, way, but. Um, I go to the poker tables that are in the fucking dark where those, no shit. those ones that uh, the, the shady business goes on the side or what? <laughs> no way. That, that's where like, like, uh, <laughs> that's where you get a lot of that. Yeah. Están jugando poker, eh? You know. Están pokering. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. I poker felt something. in the front, liquor in the rear. So I hang out in those machines right where like the locals hang out. It's oh, it's all, a machine. Oh, it's all shit. dark. Yeah, it's just the poker. <laughs> it's the poker. Oh fucking. yeah, you have said you like the little the little. Yeah, poker. I feel like my odds are better on that. Even though I know I'm not gonna win that much money or whatever. Not competing with anybody, man. Nah. Competing with yourself. Madrugaron, madrugaron, or you just picked them up at whatever time, or I, I, I got them. I picked them up around ten, and then by three o'clock, we lost five hundred bucks. So I was ready to go home, and he was, <laughs> he was ready to keep it going. Where I'm like, no, dude, literally outside the casino where he's smoking outside. Literally, the conversation is, ya vámonos. No, que tengo cien bolas en la casa. Te los préstame los y te los doy. Where'd you get a hundred bucks from, dude? How do you have a hundred bucks? I keep from? count of your money. <laughs> I, I have access to your... You don't have a debit card. How do you have a hundred bucks, dude? He's been reaching into your wallet, Wayne. I think, he was, I think he was trying to scam you, bro. I don't think he had a hundred bucks. <laughs> Not the kind of scam you home is like, los tenía aquí, pero no son nuestra. Me lo robó la que limpia. Dude, it was. Chilupita. Te dije, cabrón. La que no se quiso bañar aquí. Es transera. Um, it was uh, like a two hour drive home, silent. Like, he's pissed because we left early. I'm pissed because I lost 500 bucks. I'm like, what are we doing here, dude? This was supposed to be something that yeah. we, we had a good time. Son Father and yeah. son, let's bond. Fucking this and that, you're over here caressing these machines, and I'm ready to leave at three. <laughs> that was him, way. That was him. Y pa acabarla, sabes qué, way? Because I rented a car, way. Pa acabarla, I couldn't connect my car to the Bluetooth, so no music, dig. Oh, <laughs> so it's a two-hour drive with nothing. Silence. Way. Not even humming. You nothing. Even Hasta que we got close to the IE, que que the oh, recuerdos was able to tune to the fucking station. Then we started listening to Los Terricolas uh, and shit like that. Yeah, luego se le pasó lo nojón. Then he started spitting facts about uh, history of music where these guys que son de Venezuela. Uh, los, los pasteles verdes son de Perón. So that, uh, yeah, he finally fucking... And then my uncle calls me like at 10. Hey, todavía están because we're supposed to meet up with them. They're <laughs> oh, still... At 10 at night? Yeah. Oh, shit. Is that, is that his brother? That's his brother, yeah. There, because uh, my dad no me supo decir where he told me to go to this casino, and then it turns out my uncle was somewhere else. Turns out that's where we were supposed to be, but I'm like, dude, we're already here. I'm not gonna fucking drive over there. 
So my uncle calls me like at 10, way. Hey, you guys are still fucking... I'm fucking in bed, way, hanging out. Fucking ahí cariciando la carambola, man. Yeah, and you're, you're dead in his little room counting his hundred dollars. He's not like, I can still... Le like dije, this. le dije a este cabrón que tenía ese bar. Shit, bro. <laughs> He's funny, man. But you know, he takes his... He, I bought him mints like fucking two months ago. And I didn't think anything of it, but he uses them as his pill case. Oh, okay. So I'm like, ah, oh, this guy thinks his breath's kicking. So he takes off his mints and he opens it up and it's all his medication in there. <laughs> no, my Oh, but yeah. Well, that was, that was, that's why I missed. Oh, the parents. That was, that's why I missed last week's recording. The parents, man. No, I just uh, picked up my dad from the airport on, on Thursday. Mm-hmm. He just got back and shit. You know, fucking asuntos allá in Mexico. All of a sudden, he's got business. Oh, yeah. He's got, you know, he's got to go handle fucking que papeleo, que pa esto, que pa lo otro. He bought a car over there. <laughs> oh, shit. That bought <laughs> yeah. a car in Mexico? <laughs> yeah, he bought a car. And he had a, like, tenía que, you know, hacer el papeleo, right? He had, a, he had to do the paperwork for change of ownership and everything. So he picked it up from the guy he bought it and took it to the little ranchito. Ya tiene ahí su cochera. You know, because not even a, it's not even a driveway or the, a port. No, no, it's like cochera. Wait, what's a cochera? Way? It's like a, a garage, like a, like a garage. Like yeah, a garage. it's a little yeah. yeah. But it's it's dedicated for the car only. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a, what's it called? That little open garage, not yeah. little. So it's there, it's protected garage. and everything. So he's telling me all the business mm-hmm. and shit, like you know, just the family drama. But the one thing that he was telling me that kind of resonated with me, and I'm like, oh shit, I don't think you're wrong. But I don't know what you're saying, cabrones. So he's telling me, he, my dad has yeah. sobrinos, right? He tiene, tiene sobrinos. Um, and they're, you know, they're a little bit older, but not older than him. But he says that he's cabrones with one of his sobrinos because he comes and he says, Hola, how are you, tío? And he's all like, so he paid no attention, like, tío, how are you? And my dad, like, whatever. And like, ¿quién no me oye? Ah, ahora sí. A mí, tú y yo no somos iguales. Wait, yes, what? It, you're, we're not the same. I missed something. Where? What happened? Because oh, his 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 nephew no, didn't didn't address him. They were stiff. Oh shit! Oh, no, 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 of course you do. That's because I'm famous. You, channel? you address me as usted. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mijos, mijos fam, famoso en el podcast. What's his what's name? Uh, oh, don, don Chano. Oh, no, en el radio, en el radio. Mijos famoso en el radio. De internet. En las redes sociales. En las redes sociales. Tiene mucho followers en Instagram. He doesn't like it when like um, his nephews or younger ones, like call him, you know, refer to him as don't, you know, like de tú. Wow. He doesn't like that. And I'm like, so he's done that with little kids too. You know, like, <laughs> the little kids like what the fuck? No, no, no. He tells them and he tells the little kids in front of their parents. I'm like, a mí me dices usted. A mí no me dices de tú. A mí no me estás tuteando. And hey, I should have stayed home and played with myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so, I'm so like, two is offensive to yeah, older, I, yeah, to older ones. You know, there's got to be some some le- sort of level of respect. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like my niece and, and nephews. Uh huh. Like if they were to comment by my name, I'll correct them too. Oh, well, sure. what, what would you correct them to though? Just deal. Deal, Something, right? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. You're, you know. you're not Mario. Yeah. No. Mario. No. You call me Tio Mario if you want. Yeah. But Tio's got Tio's got to be in it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. yeah. I, I can go with that. I have a title. He says yeah. because in Eng- I mean I would understand if it was here, but these are his nephews in Mexico, right? My cousins. They should know better. They oh, should yeah. know better. That's true. Because right here, at least uh, in English, it's like uh, what would you say? Non-binary? It's, it's or non ti- Yeah, it's non list or or. Oh shit, yeah. we're getting there. No, no, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like, uh, like shit. you would say, uh, Mister, oh. instead of Hey, you. It, you know? Yeah, it's it's not it's yeah, like for me, it's more of the respect thing. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. Like that's why I don't have any any of my nephews or nieces call me by my name. Yeah. It's gotta be like it's Don Mario now. 
No, no, tío. Tío, <laughs> tío, tío Mario. Tío. Yeah. Oh, I have my little niece he told he her little sister, uh, hey, Uncle Tío's calling you. Uncle Tío, all right. I'm like, okay, that's good. I could go with that too. Maybe she's es española. Oye, tío. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that that's that was a big deal. So then I was... T- I, I was <laughs> Where did that shit come from? Oh, that's <laughs> how they say like, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's a tío. Es es a, esa tía. It's not, it's not like uncle. In, in, in Spain, they say tío like, like oh, ese tío fucking ese no sabe wey, fumar. Ese cabrón, no, ese baboso. Ese, ese tío no sabe. So, I mean, I guess. Ese, ese yeah, usually refer to the older people, though, right? It's a regi- regional thing, huh? Like in the like India, the man is, oh, auntie. They call almost all the older ladies aunties. Really? Yeah. In India? In India. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. I have no idea. You guys don't watch any Indian films? No. Uh, no. Bollywood like a Bollywood one? Yeah, the Bollywood. Or is that racist to no, assume no. that all they do is Bollywood? <laughs> no, no, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I want to be correct. Yeah, though, no, no. If you watch a lot of, like, me and my wife. I'm trying to get she, woke she over really here. She likes watching. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've been napping my whole life, but I want to get woke. <laughs> get woke. It's about time I no, woke no, up. I've been, been asleep for is, a long time. Is, uh, they're, like, the, they refer to the older people than them. Like, the young ones refer to the older people like, Uncle or aunties. Mm. Oh shit! I don't know that. At first, I used to think like, "Fuck, everybody's their fucking aunt or everybody's their uncle." Some incest- May- maybe maybe ancestral it- shit going on. No, maybe here. it's like 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 uh, mm-hmm. Mario over there. Way someone lo regañó una vez for not calling him tío. And then from there, and then they're like, "Fuck, off. I'm gonna cover my bases, bro." Everybody's a tío. It <laughs> yeah, it's no. a it's a little power thing too. Nowhere, like, hey, you fucking, you respect me. I'm older than you. I'm sure it's a little bit. I mean, but there's got to be. I mean, I don't know if it's power, no, no, but it's more of uh, for me. Of, it's a respect. That's all. Yeah, it is. it's mm. respect. But I mean, mm. there's like there's there's got to be some sort of. ¿Cómo te diría? Like you and I are equal. There's a division. Oh, I think I think my dad went a little bit off board with that one. Que no somos iguales type of deal. I'm like, what the fuck, really? Yeah. You know, but that's no, I yo soy tu tío. Yeah, that's a little harsh, man. Yo soy tu tío y a mí me hablas de usted. Yeah. No soy tu amigo, no soy tu primo, no soy tu, tu hermano, ni nada. Yeah, yeah. Yo soy tu tío y a mí me hablas de usted. So I'm like, oh, shit. I and get, not to change the it. subject real quick, but you, you need to uh, give props to uh, your buddy Paul. Oh, Big Ay, Paul? Ay, Big Paul. Big Paul with the, with the, the yeah, cigarros? Yeah, 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 that that was really good, really oh, good. I, know that. I wish you remember the name of them. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the big no, 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 big ball something? No, I forgot what the name. Yeah, big Paul smart, cigars. Fucking these cigars that Big Paul donated to us a fucking few months ago. They were sitting in your human door. Yeah, but, but they're still soft. Yeah, they're still uh, they're still good. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So thank you. Yeah, really good. Yeah, I mean, are these becoming more popular? Way you think a lot more people are smoking cigars? I don't know. Oh. I feel that way, but I, I think I think it's just because I mean you start hanging around with people more that smoke and you think, oh shit, it's becoming a trend. I know yeah, it's a lot. You of know, it's, it it kind of feels that way because it's exactly what you said. Like more people you hang out with, it's like all of a sudden people around you feel like they're smoking yeah. more. But I think but it's, it's again, always been around. With. Yeah, it's never been kind of. It's the circle that you're with. Then. Yeah, I yeah. Heard, I heard that women are are embracing it more. Oh yeah, right for sure. Mm. That's cool. Way right? I like it. El Big Paul. Big Paul TV. <laughs> yeah, TV he owns a TV place. Did you guys ever go to Crazy Gideon's? Yes, I did. Stack them <laughs> yeah. deep, deep and sell them cheap. <laughs> I remember the commercials. Man. I thought that guy was I stack them mind. deep and sell them cheap. I'm like, fuck. That's Whatever cool. happened to that guy? Uh, well, fucking. COVID. No, <laughs> COVID. No, I mean, it, I guess uh, like anything, online sales, um, big chains like, you know, Best Buy, Target, fucking. Amazon. Amazon, <laughs> all that fucking took them out. But even oh. before Amazon, oh, really? it was already going down. Because I remember at the time it was uh, Crazy Gideon's and I mean, Crystal Promotion. Crystal Promotion is still around, though, no? Yeah, there's, but there's like what two? 
three. I th- I think the Curacao is pretty genius where they give yeah. credit to anybody. <laughs> like that's that's a good move. That, that's how we but got into a housing where crisis is too. Right? Yeah. Uh, that's a place in uh, the, the Caribbean. No, but he's saying why? Why do you say it like that? Yeah, when, when it's not spelled that way. It's Curacao. Well, You're thinking Curacao, yeah, right? Yeah, but no, but the way the it's an island, right? But I don't know. Wait, there's English words too that are yeah. fucked up like that. It's too. Curacao. Let's yeah. see that Paul Joseph cigar. No, oh, there you go. Uh, all right, there you go. That's the proper. Uh, yeah, sorry, bro. Just trying to give him the proper, proper the props. Put some little pinche lighter. I think Esteban se 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 bajó el otro way. Hey, wait, don't. Se lo se lo ensartó, way. Lo trae de plug right now. Don't come at me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you you need was, to wake up. There was two of them. <laughs> that's around. that's why, like Boost Mobile, it probably went deeper. Like Boost Mobile and those companies, right? They're fucking smart. We're giving anybody a phone. <laughs> no fucking ID required. We'll give you a fucking phone. Get on, get them hooked. Get them in it. I mean, the the undocumented community is a huge fucking market. Where why wouldn't you try to? <laughs> <laughs> We're like toddlers over here smoking. Si no vieron el video que se me quema la pinche barriga. He he was burning fat in another way. <laughs> it's a runaway cigar over here. Porque tengo el pinche micrófono. Tengo dos pinches. Estás goloso, culero. Ay, güey, oílo. You got two pointy pa, things pa, right pa, in your yeah. chin, bro. I do. You gotta no, make it flash. Bad, There you go, pinche Ramón. You gotta get one of those fucking, remember like the movie Backfire or Black, Back, Back, Backdraft? It's gonna be one of the thing now. We're gonna need cigars every episode. I got a feeling. <laughs> Moving on up. <clears throat> Está cabrón. So what's going on with you guys, man? What's new? I haven't seen you guys in a few weeks. <clears throat> Yeah. Wow, let's see. Um, well, yeah, we missed you last week. Fucking, we had a. I missed you too, bro. We had a whack episode. What? Yeah, it was just Fernie and me. Why do you say whack? Do you guys got a lot of content? Uh, <laughs> uh, that day we're just looking at each other. <laughs> really? Nah. Yeah, we're just like staring at each other, like the cablamos. Yeah. No, oh, they, they did it upstairs too. Yeah, we did. Oh, it. Did? So it was weird yeah. up there too. Eh? Yeah, because I uh, can landlord fucking Texas was cool. like, "Hey, uh, you guys need to be done by 12 I saw Get that. <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, we'll try our best." No, 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 Heather, your best. You fucking. <laughs> nah, he was just kidding, man. Nah, cool. No, he wasn't dude, kidding. No, no, he was he kidding. Was not kidding. No. I, 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 t- I took it as a joke right? on the text. Yeah. Okay, somebody took it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, es que, es que, es que si no te regaña. Es que I don't clog his toilet, bro. So, <laughs> <laughs> man, that's so the there, there's that. Yeah. <laughs> there's <laughs> or, or shit on the toilet seat. I don't go watch fucking narcos. Mexico. Right? I mean, if, if fucking if you guys saw Arnie, then you guys stretched it, right? Arnold was here, the the artist that had a show. Or I don't think. No, yeah, he was here when they. Were, yeah, because they're, yeah, so you guys stretched that. No, episode. no, no, we were done. Um, we were done. That the, by the time they got here, we were already done. Everything was put away, and we were just hanging out and chatting and shit, just you know, winding down, catching up. Yeah. Because uh, we didn't have time to catch up in the mor- on the morning porque llegamos en chinga way. Yeah. But they, okay, the llegamos, there, there was no chairs. It's like I, I put them up there if you want. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. He took okay. all our chairs. He no, took them up no there. choice. Yeah. No, because I had to clear this area. Yeah, I get it. The only reason because they started at two, mm. so I couldn't be like. Oh, it was an early fucking event. Oh, so yeah, you guys had event. fucking time against you guys a different location. Yeah, the, everything was. Moved. I mean, it was cool because it was like, uh, no tanto espacio. It's not spread out. So we were just like, you know, facing each other. So it was kind of a little uncomfortable. <laughs> you guys are giving eye contact. I know. We're just <laughs> know. staring at each other's eyes. Like, Jesus. so. Um, I got to listen to this episode. I, I, I never noticed your yeah. eyes. I know. <laughs> Fernie with this lighting over you here. pretty eyes. <laughs> 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 they're, little, they're a little caramelized. You don't know. They are a little caramelized. You don't know. Qué guapo estás, Fernando. ¿Se te antojó? No, no, qué toro ni qué nada, güey. You guys give yourself the lady in the trap look? Yeah, we're like, we're just looking at each other like, wow, oh, you know? You so guys they, are eating the same fucking spaghetti and meat in the middle? Yeah, yeah then at some point we were talking about the metro and all the this, but like, I don't know, like, and friends are like, you know what, I'm fucking done. I'm like, you know what, so am I, way. <laughs> this is how I always imagined it, is it? Jesus <laughs> Christ. It was weird without you. And not only that, but we couldn't get anybody last minute. Uh, and not that it was last minute. You did tell us with, with you know, within the week. Yeah. And then uh, I'm like, all right, I'll reach hey. out. I'll reach out to see who's around. But the normal, the normal people, Nolia couldn't. 
you know, fill in. Uh, Alfred was out of town, and then I was going to hear his excuses right now. Yeah, I was going to hit up. I was, gonna I, hit up. I, I was never asked. To. <laughs> you were going to be busy that <laughs> day. You, you left. You never know. You Dick, you're fucking rushing us before we even get here. You're telling us, hey, you're I need you up by, t- no, by I, noon. I don't think so. Damn. By noon. I'm like, no, nah, we'll try our best. No, nah, not your best. You got to be out by noon. I'm like, fuck. No, right. no, read, the, read the text, man. Come I'm on. like, fuck. All right. Right. That's, that's how I took it. I feel like I'm missing something and I'm in the middle of it somehow. There's, there's certain <laughs> facts that are not being. Come on, bro. Put them all out there. What do you got? No, 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 nothing. So, <laughs> what do you got against our landlord? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got nothing against the landlord. If anything, it's like. I, I, I think since we've met, I, I think I've been. Uh, Landlords get a bad rap, bro. I know, man. No, we got a good landlord. They, they get they get blamed for uh, gentrifying neighborhoods. <laughs> fucking landlords take all the shit. And they're fucking overcharging, and they don't fix anything. Right away, he's right yeah. there. Away. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gentrifying the neighborhood. <laughs> he's like tapel baño, no, no lo destapó. Dig, if you had a property in like places that are coming up, you would lower your rent from everybody else. I think I would be fair about it. So fair I would be is fair. what everybody else. No, is no, no, no. What everybody's like, I would look at one thing though is like, I don't know. I know this. If I had a property, I would have rules. You know, like one, I don't want to. I, I don't think I would want to rent to like children, like people with children. <laughs> I, no, I, I, I like this. I like this. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. It's I'm just, out. All right. Yeah. Keep you know, going. it's children it, are out. Wait, just wait. Slowly, he's gonna discount all of us. What about children, <laughs> children, 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 children are, are taggers. No. <laughs> no. If they have a pet, they no. would have to leave a deposit for it. But no. también like why oh, un pet si, a pet child no. <laughs> huh? Why a pet deposit? Well, because, you know, some people do need a pet because um, one thing I would understand. But like, why would you want a deposit for you? Take because you're going to damage. So the, how like do if you they know have, that? See? But wait, you, you, you're willing to take a deposit for the pet, but not for kids? No, because yeah, kids <laughs> kids will clog up. They'll fucking yeah, rip wait. the wall. Kids are wait, you clog it up too, wait. <laughs> kids, <don't know. laughs> kids are not. When have wall. I clogged it up right here? You're the one that. You're <laughs> the famous <laughs> one. <laughs> You're the famous one. Now we got, we got a podcast, man. guys. Manchester's el pichi. All we have to do is bring children in this. <laughs> we, got, we got a podcast. Fucking <laughs> children. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't rent to like. And not only that, but then I wouldn't. No I wouldn't musicos. want it to have like you know. <laughs> Um, you know, like, hey, this is your last episode, right? Some somehow, I'm still, I still could be a tenant. Wait, what else? Uh, the other one is the musicals um, are kind of loud. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, nah, I, I have, I have my uh, my pedal. No, no, no karaoke if parties. It's, if it's for two people, <laughs> if, if it's a two person apartment, two persons, not like three or four uh, in there. Can I celebrate them. my birthday? In yeah, my house? you can celebrate your birthday. Just let me know. <laughs> Can that I way a, I can let the rest of the tenants know if there's a, if it's a multi dwelling unit. Can I get a vrinka vrinka? Put it up, no problem. Do I have a space in the back for it? Is this a house or an apartment? I'm talking about apartments. <laughs> oh, so I live with other people. Yeah, well, in the building. But I have priority because I'm your friend, right? Uh, you have parking. <laughs> <laughs> you have parking for a vehicle. Wow, <laughs> Jesus Christ! You have parking. Pero, you pero, be a fucking pero, terrible landlord, pero, dude. Pero no el garage because the garage nah, yeah. he rents it separately. Yeah, yeah shit. That's, that's for podcast. No, that's for storage. <laughs> he, he rents it for storage. For storage, people need to put stuff away in there. You know, you not could. your storage though. I don't know about your fucking being fair landlord fucking views, where Yes, <laughs> I seem a little fucking. I don't know. No you ch- don't, hey, you don't, hey, hey, this fucking guy. I'm straight, guys. Anyway, this fucking guy. I'll be fair. Fuck kids! I don't want kids in my shit. <laughs> you need you a deposit. If you have a little fucking uh, pet that that brings you uh, a fucking joy? joy from depression, you gotta pay a deposit. Min- yeah. min- minimum four, <laughs> minimum seven forty. Five cool porcos, you know, no way. Seven forty. I don't know. Um, that's it. Nah, it, bullshit. You justify like, that shit. They don't. Too, they don't have to. They don't have to rent. But these are my rules. You know, these are my rules. I want everybody to, like, look. No quiero un cabrón que, que is always bumping fucking music at 2 or 3 in the morning when the rest got to sleep. Hey, Mario's out. So it seems like you, you it seems like <laughs> you're going to, it me. seems like you need to raise the pride of your rent then. <laughs> <laughs> no. You want it. These are the rules. No. I'm going to, you know, no. these are the rules. You're going to have to ha- sign a contract, you know. A lot of people are like, you know, I could understand that. I would even give, like, the, the, the younger generation a break. You know, like, yeah, they need to a place to stay, but these are the rules. You're not going to be fucking partying. If you're going to throw a party or anything, you got to let me know so that I can let the rest of the tenants also they're aware. So you got to remember, this guy's going to have a key to your place. Oh, fuck yeah. So when you're not around, he's going to hey, search for drugs. Get bailed. <laughs> oh, no drug use. No, can can I I smoke smoking. Weed? Can I smoke weed in no, my apartment? No, you can't. Why not? Because it's going to stink up the whole apartment. Can I, can I drink cigars? whiskey? 
Tampoco. Oh, whiskey, you can, but cigars, oh, so, uh, you can yeah. go outside, so go outside. It. I could drink alcohol, but I can't smoke weed. Yeah, if because you, <laughs> if you're going to smoke outside, though, you got to put it in the Ooh. forum three weeks what in advance. What if it's an edible? Can I have, can I have an edible, yeah, my place? You can have an edible. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. It's just, it's just a smoke factor. Some people don't like the smoke. What if he gets too marijuana and he you fucks know, up the wall? Because it travels through the fucking vents. Some Jesus people, Christ, right? travels through what, the vents. What do you have a direct vent? Oh, uh, then not even then it still gets around. And I'll tell you why. And I'll, here's the reason why. Right, right. So, uh, you know, I have a, I have a special needs brother. Um, so in the summer, um, my mom had, would have the window open for him it's because, you know, the house gets hot. But the neighbor next door, they would go outside and smoke their fucking, their mota. And it's right by my brother's window. Yeah. You know, y entraba toda la casa. Mm. So my mom's are like, oh, what the fuck? So tenía que cerrar la ventana. And now, you know, now my brother is like in a, in a hot, hot room. Yeah. yeah. You know, so then. Um, you guys couldn't switch his room to another room? No, because that room is set up for him. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this that is room, room. Aren't all your rooms on the same side, though? Too? Yeah, they're on the same side. But like that one right there is, uh, it's, it's set up for him. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. bed, his machine. But the guy was even fucking considerate. Uh, he walked outside to smoke. No, but he's on the outside. Like he's parallel to the, the room. Mm. You know, he's parallel. Like, está, you know, está el cuarto, la ventana. He's outside the windows. In yeah, the like on the other he, side of the fence. He, he was smoking, well, like the kid said, the loud. Yeah. <laughs> he, was like, he was like maybe 20 feet from, from the window. Pero todo entraba ahí. And it was drugs, bro. And, and the thing is that, you know, it's annoying to my parents. Even if it would have been a regular cigarette, I mean, or, or a cigar. Dude, I can't stand the smell of cigarette now. Yeah? Yeah. Like, I go places and I, I see guys and, and chicks smoking in their breaks. Yeah. Oof, it's fucking bad, dude. Yeah, dude, like it's I just the smell, the smell of the, the cigarette versus cigar is it's different. Yeah. Huge difference. You smell man. the fucking chemicals. Oh shit, man. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, who has it? I don't know. I, oh, I don't. I don't know. Way. I mean, I, I feel like I feel like your your plan would self destruct in a few months, and you'll completely change. <laughs> no, I mean, you, like, you don't have to. Re- you don't no, have he's to rent add there. rules to it. Where you don't have to live there. No That's section? the thing. You want to do a section eight? I don't know. I don't know about that because that one has its own regulations, its own rules, you know? Oh, you got rent every month. No problem. It's no, paid. I understand. But at the same time, I'm not going to jeopardize the rest of my tenants. Everybody's Section 8, though. You can't just have one person that's Section 8 in a place and everybody else is. No, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I don't think I will open it up for Section 8. No? No. I, I would have to really look. I'm, I'm not a property owner. I don't have. Whiskey, anybody? No, no. I'm good, bro. Thank you. I don't have a uh, property like that. I don't have like apartments. But I mean, at the same time, like I want my the, the building and my tenants to be happy. I don't want them to, you know, fucking all of a sudden train su yonke y ahí lo estacionan afuera y lo dejan. <laughs> You know? <laughs> three yonkes, right? I know it's fucking. No, but it's my, it's, it's, it's and has fucking f- uh, uh, fiestas every three months with bands and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I smokes w- outside people's windows. <laughs> I know what the fuck, bro. No, I would go to the front of the alley. Yeah, but you don't know if it's. Uh, what if they have somebody in the room too that doesn't like the smell of smoke? Well, no, that's why I would go to the front or the alley. I wouldn't go to that's, the side. I wouldn't go to anywhere near the windows. That's what those neighbor thought when he went outside to smoke weed. Oh, let me fucking go nah, outside. He knows it's right there. Wait, si se quiere que se vaya al callejón, he's got an alley too. So just buy property in the state that weed is not legal, where then you don't have to do it. It's not that it's, it's not not. I'm not going for the legality of it because cigarettes are legal. A lot of people smoke weed, though. Where I understand, but you know what? I don't want my apartment or my building to smell like fucking, like a you know, like weed or cigarettes. I get it. You no, know, if you want to vape, you so could first, do e-cigarettes. That's cool. You know, it doesn't have a sign or a smell. Landlord, right? first, first and last, you or? don't have to rent there, bro. That's the thing. These are my rules. You want yeah. it good? These That's are the not, rules. And, and, and this not, conversation started because you were saying that yeah, Mario was a little picky. No, know, what is it? No, 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 no. <laughs> No. How, how am I going to write music and be inspired in my own apartment when I got all these fucking rules? I don't know, eh. Ahí viene llegando alguien. Ahí viene llegando alguien. Oh, mi carnal. Uh, y le dije, eh, you waiting for anybody? Like, nah, nah, I'm good. No, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't got nobody coming in, eh. Ya estuvo. You know? So fucking... Yeah, so that would be my... That would be my, you know... My conditions? Yeah, I get it. You don't have to rent. You don't want these rules. Hey, you don't have to rent here. Wait, how, why did it get so quiet when this guy left? Because the, the mic was picking up a ah, lot. That fucking mic was fucking up yeah. our shit. Yeah. The fucking mic is a chaffa mic, bro. Yeah, that's that's not. It right just looks chaffa cool. mic. Yeah, it looks uh-huh. good. It's I don't think it's a cool. sure. I don't think it's a sure. The, no. uh, not an original way? Nah. Uh, sure. you, know, you don't think Mario's fucking a purist way? Shit. Nah, not for mics. 
He yeah. likes to save money. <laughs> yeah. So, so that would be my thing. I get it. I don't know if I want to deal with renters, man. I feel like if I get property at some point in my life, I'm just going to pay fucking a property manager to deal with all that shit. Right? Yeah, wait, it's it sucks, bro. Like like my mom's fucking boyfriend. Way, pagar and shit. My mom's boyfriend, the dude hasn't paid rent in like the whole COVID way. It's been like a year and a half. I wait. And he's old school way. They took advantage of him for being a nice guy. Like I'm seeing that you want to be a nice guy way. They fucking they took full advantage of him way. They got like the grandparents living in an RV in the back. Yeah. yeah, like none of that was part of the fucking deal. That's what I'm saying. So it would yeah. be shit like that, you know, like, hey, like, you know, like I if you're going to have somebody staying for whatever reason, let me know. So that way, you know, I could, you know, cuanto, like, for example, let's just say you uh, like you, you were renting from me. And you'd be like, hey, uh, Señor Ramon. <laughs> I want to say Señor Ramon. <laughs> Señor Ramon. Fucking uh, my dad. I'm looking for a place, in, but he's going to be staying with me for a month. I'm like, all right, for a month, Simon. If it extends or something, let me know, but it's not going to be a permanent thing, right? No, no, no. It's just for a month. I'm like, all right, cool. That way, you know, I'm aware of it. And if someone complains, because you know that there's always going to be people complaining, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm aware of it. We already yeah. have, you know, you don't have to know what deal I have with him, but I'm aware of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Because other people be like, yes, the señor quien es, you know? Or mm-hmm. like, why is, like, you know, <laughs> he's coming in, he's coming out. Like, who, who the fuck is he? Is he new? What? Yeah, people get nosy. Um. Yeah, they get nosy. And a lot of it is just, you know, keeping an eye on the in the place. Because if it's if it's a nice property or if it's a nice little community right there, they want to know who's coming in and out. Someone that doesn't look familiar, they'll be like, hey, who's this? Like, Mind your fucking business, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's fuck? fucking funny. Know, right? What the fuck? <laughs> right away, I need to know fucking... I, I do. It's my property. I mean, I, there's things that, that we don't have to deal with that women have to deal with, right, bro? And, and that's one of the things that like I've been exposed to. Um, that, you know, some of these women, they don't feel safe way when they're living in an apartment. And, like, the property manager is a dude, has the keys to the fucking apartment. Mm. And there's been cases where these guys just fucking go in there, start sniffing their fucking shit. Oh, or shit. chicks actually get killed, way. Not too long ago, there was this... This, this black chick that was killed by the dude that was supposed to be fucking running the place and they have access to their apartments because they all have the key. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. Where they have somebody else have a key to my place. Even if you were living in a, in like in a, like a managed property, like for example, where Fernie and I used to live at. Yeah. The, the management company has a key to our place. Yeah. I guess that's a little different way, but when it's like some dude, like yeah. the guy that fixes the plumbing, and the handyman, he's also the guy that has the keys. I feel like I could see how women are you know vulnerable. What? That's a good point because let's just say if there's need, the, you know, set the pole pinch toilet, and whoever is like hey, called it in, I'm like, all right, I'll set something up. I think I would have to be there at least two people there just to keep an eye out, you know, just to just for uh, como te digo for legality issues. Yeah, because if they said, oh, you know what, me robaron mi Mona Lisa. It was here, you know. I had it here. Who came in and My everything? Two pastrami sandwiches. I don't want to put that on the on the on the plumber, and I don't want to put it on me either. So yeah. si estamos dos, there's like, hey, wait, que entre dos cabrones, we're gonna fucking, yeah. we're gonna plan this now. Yeah, like you know, just rest assured, he's not gonna go in somewhere that you're not supposed to be at. Pues también, también, he's not to también, 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 apartment building. It's not the, not, not the same, pero like either either you had to be there for for like when the maintenance guy was coming. Mm-hmm. Or if they had to do check something, you had to be there or you had to sign a form that said, hey, they're coming at this time. Is it okay? For them to come and in. And you had to f- sign away your fucking your yeah, property. Pretty yeah, much but, but that's for a maintenance guy. But the, the guy that has the key to your place, you don't have to know when he has access to your shit. That guy could come in. He knows your schedule. He can, oh, no. Yeah, for sure. He can come in like when you're at work. Well, that same guy. Yeah. Well, or, you know what? The good thing, though, now nowadays, I mean, this might have been shitty back in the days, but nowadays... People could actually have like a, you know, there's all these little ring apps, you know, you could put it in, you know, or your monitor. Or yeah, like, like, like that speaker right there could be a camera. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, you know, if someone comes in, you but can see what, what's going on. You know? Well. And, and then you No, could, but he's saying like if the, if, if the chick's there, pues, or whatever, he's está bañando or some shit, right? He, mm-hmm. he can just come in or whatever. Cuando está la comida, güey. Or algo así, yeah. Like that, that, that's what he's talking about, no? Like, yeah. Like they have access even, pues... They got no business there, way, but si el pinche vato está loco or está He's obsessed with this chick. He's going to yeah, come in at night. Shit. She has the keys. Who else has the keys? 
watch her sleep and shit or something well, like, then that, like then movie then style. It's tough. It's tough for the ladies' way. Yeah, we gotta have men way. I mean, for us, it is too. Where I feel like some women don't realize, like they they say that they when they walk out at night, they're like cautious and there's. Guys are the same way, dude. I'm cautious for the for different reasons. Not because me vayan a fucking me vayan a robar or me vayan a querer violar or me quieran hacer esto. I'm cautious for other que me quieran robar or que me quieran asaltar or que me quieran dar una putiza. No, but they make it seem like we walk around and not worry about shit. Like we walk around at night too, and we're also fucking worried. I'm I'm worried. I'm I'm looking around. It, it's not the same fears, but I guess yeah. There's there's yeah. fears también, pues, you know. Yeah, there's caution. There's cautionary fucking movements. But the I guess it to, I, to them the threat is more sexual. I mean, yeah, but they're, it, they're more violent. vulnerable too, no? There's yeah. violence to the sexual fucking um, act, of course, way. But to us, it's more like fucking. I'm gonna rob this dude and kill his ass. But I'm, I'm saying no. What well, the, the, there's a there's a huge difference between fucking me robaron la cartera y me violaron, güey. The, no, the, yeah, the traumatizing yeah, factors. What, what I'm saying is is different levels. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, we can get into that, but. Um, it's not that we don't walk around with, with no fears, where right? Yeah, no, we're cautious, I mean. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, my, Do my you car- carry around mace wing? <laughs> no, I'm cautious. <laughs> I, I carry, carry a pocket I carry knife. I carry a weapon on my keychain. Yeah, I carry a pocket knife. Yeah, I have a knife, everywhere. too. Yeah, everywhere I, I, I go, I got my chicken knife. knife. I got her pepper spray. I you wonder- know how many times I've gone to, like, an event, and I forget that I have, not that I forget, but, like, it's such a part of me that I, I fucking... Agree. I like I'm like oh fuck no I'm not gonna because they're gonna search me and they're gonna let me in with a pocket knife so I always look for a little spot I dig a little hole and I hide my knife there. Quieres jugarte la vida por ella, galán? Las cono and I go in and then when I leave I come back and I and I pick it up again. My my the, the little knife I had the pinchy chota fucking confiscated or whatever well he just he just held it and never gave it back to me but that one I think I took in everywhere way no yeah. one ever gave me beef about it. I even in uh, Disneyland I went through like like you said I fucking forgot I had it then I would leave it in the car like when I go to the parks whatever yeah and a few times we like some and the fucking dude fucking would just I throw it to him and it, it was that just a little mini blade way you know for utility shit and he was just like pasa la volada like, yeah like, like, like I saw, I saw nothing but he he fucking goes hey eso que pedo I go and I fucking take it out it's all his little shit he's like ah he'd give me the like like look away and give me the mano así pasa la volada way yeah. So they, yeah, they, they let no, me. No me la van a dejar pasar. They let me into knots, into Disney, into. Uh, they co- they f- confiscated f- my chick's pepper spray at Disneyland. Oh shit! Yeah, we couldn't take it in. Yes, yeah, with me. La dejan pasar. Do you get it back? Nah, not at Disneyland. Not, not like if it, at the end of your nah, your visit you go back and like hey can I get people there. not Disneyland but we went to the what was it the Hayride a couple weeks uh-huh. ago and they they took. They didn't take the pepper spray there, but I saw they were taking pepper sprays from people. But that that right there was like, they took this little smoking thing that we had, they confiscated it, but the guys were like, hey, if you want it back at the end, you just go to the office. But I'm not going to fucking deal with that. Hey, but a pepper spray, I guess, I mean, not like you can go really pepper spray, but I guess you I don't. I don't get it. I don't, I yeah, pepper get spray it. is kind of like, weird. Why, right? why won't you let me fucking or, or some chick carry a pepper spray in this place? What if she goes to the restroom and she doesn't feel safe? I mean... Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's what the same thing I was trying to think you know wasn't there I don't know if it was Disney but it was somewhere no like in the restroom mm-hmm. they're fucking attacking women or kids Jesus. or something fuck man that's crazy that's Disneyland? what I'm saying but pepper spray I don't know if it was Disneyland I didn't want to say Disneyland but I think it was one of the Mickey sure, Mouse I'm going to send a pinche carta güey. Pero like, that's what I'm saying no no I'm not going to say I shit. mean considering how many people are in this state this city this 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 country this world way that not a lot of people, to be honest, really. I mean, yeah, people go through violent shit way, but it's amazing that there's not more. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing that it's not more chaotic than it really is. Like, it's amazing that that out of millions of people in a city, like four or five hundred murders a year. I mean, it's amazing that there's not more than that to me way, because you would think a lot of people. Well, I mean, I, I've never looked at the t- statistics. I don't know what the, like, you know, I always hear that the crime rate has gone down or the crime rate has gone up or the crime rate is like at this level. But I haven't actually looked into like, you know what, how many people have been robbed, killed, stabbed, shot or fucking anyway. raped or whatever in downtown L.A.? Well, the, 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 you, know? The, you know, like now that they're always saying, oh, fuck, the crime's fucking rising in the. They're always stoking the fears. Like, oh, shit, fucking crime is up. Fucking murders are up. This is up. Violent um, crime. Yeah. But even stats-wise, I don't think it's at the level of, like, the 80s and shit. Where- well, it, and, then, and that's all stupid right now, too, right? considering the year that we're in. Like, 
when the whole COVID thing happened and then a year passed and they're like, oh, crime's up from last year. Yeah, yeah. Dick, we're all at home. I saw those yeah. two. Were, like, okay, yeah, of course. I, I, like, I, I saw those clips too. What are you were, trying to do? Like, you're trying to promote fear? Like, fuck, okay, yeah. Yeah, that they're like, fucking crime is up 200% from last year. I'm like, well, everybody yeah. was home last year. Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Pero también, I think, um, I think a lot of, a lot of, like, um, I have the, fear way. I have the like the ring app, right? And so it gives you your, your neighborhood stats or like the safety watch or safety report from your neighborhood. And yeah, you, you see it, but I think now some people are, yeah, that's good way. Some people <laughs> to get it all in. You're going to get dizzy towards the bottom way. Yeah. Yeah. Just to get that point where it gets a little more trippy. <laughs> So my bad, my bad. Dale, a lot of the like you know you see other reports and I think that sometimes these little gadgets help have helped prevent some like crimes you know like major crimes or like what little gadgets like the ring. Oh okay. Yeah, he's you know, talking about his rings. So. Yeah, like it's helped out. And, and you get those gems like Ramon where people are shitting in your your alley. Uh, people are jacking off, off, stealing your <laughs> cervezas. It's it's all like the neighborhood that you're in because my sister lives out like by Sierra Madre yeah. and um she her, just gets wildlife. Her her her, her <laughs> ring cameras are bears and shit, <laughs> <laughs> leopards and fucking pumas <laughs> and pinche <laughs> un tecolote eating a rabbit. <laughs> so I'm like, oh yeah, this is a nicer neighborhood. <laughs> her ring cameras like fucking National Geographic, <laughs> <laughs> Animal Planet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Salil vata fuera crikey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was at her house one time where fucking I think I told the story. I was hanging out fucking in her living room and then she was waiting for an Amazon package and I saw the guy get off on Amazon and it was my old friend Mark. Remember Mark? Oh yeah, Marky Mark. Mark. Chimuelo. Uh-huh. And uh, he looked all fucking, he's at work, he looked all upset. And I opened the door, like, what the fuck are you doing here, bro? He's like, what the fuck, what are you doing here? <laughs> I love you, puto. And my sister lives here now. Nah, but it was just funny way to see him. Fucking you didn't catch up because they're like, oh, dude, I got three more packages. A little bit, yeah, but he hated working at Amazon. And most people that work at Amazon hate that shit. Man. You know what? I saw someone post a video on, on, the, on the Insta. And I, it, I know. It was, uh, it was, it was a morrilla, morrilla. And she's talking about how she wakes up early in the morning, fucking goes, and she, she goes to Amazon. She says, I'm here fucking two hours in this station, and then I take my break. And that sounds like a TikTok. It is. Oh, it probably it is. It probably it is. Oh, but shit. It, I'm I guess, moving on. I guess they posted, they, they can repost it on Instagram. I don't have TikTok, dude. Uh, this time I'm like, I don't know. About My understanding is about to make it pretty easy, no? Like to repost shit on Instagram and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and TikTok, you can share it. Like, like, share it. Like it tells mo- you story or, or your feed, and it's pretty simple. Oh, shit. And shit. So, fucking. So she's talking about, like, hey, fucking Amazon is hiring, you know? And you can see that, you know, she's busy and everything, but I'm like, all right, she's she's promoting. I guess I guess they need help. I guess uh, I know the unemployment that keeps increasing right now. Unemployment, yeah, yeah, it's getting crazy, bro. I saw this this program that Amazon had that it's not it's not that common because we're not in a rural place here, but they make it more for like older people to still keep working. Mm-hmm. And it's this program where they where you can you can park your RV in like secluded oh, yeah. Amazon fucking warehouses and you just work two months there and then you get your 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 fucking thing to go to another city so you pack up your rv and you go a couple states over and you work at that amazon plant for two or three months and you're living like you're actually living in your rv yeah the people, that's fucking ching you know like like the well style it's been a the moda for a while no i don't know if it's i don't know after covid como está this madre but the the whole rv thing remember living like in a van the mm-hmm. converted the like the converted um commercial vans shit yeah. well a lot of people would do that way like they do like the from home and then they do the Amazon thing where you get a park then chamba for fucking a month or two or whatever like whatever you sign up for you work there and then you fucking that's enough money to fucking cruise around for another three months then you got otra temporadita like the, the prime day or something and they, they hire you for another month or two you know and then I see when they just go fucking like state to t- state way and make that's a little extra money smart. I don't know that I, I, I think these guys are more consistent we're not really breaks it's more like oh, the, the like, other people I've seen the like other. we need you uh, in Montana for two months and then we need you in Wisconsin for three months and then you just drive your RV back and forth yeah, you get a little kind of it's, 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 it's not it's not as glamorous as it sounds where, and that's what I think YouTube mm. and Instagram made the vanning life seem more glamorous yeah. than it really is where. it's not that easy way 
Like you have people fucking glorifying living in the van and 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 making YouTube videos. But not the thing in how to fucking empty out your septic tank or fucking. Oh yeah, yeah they do. Eh? Yeah, they do. Yeah, but, yeah. But no, what I'm but saying a lot is of them just being like out young, in the road. Young, no. I'm saying just being out in the road is kind of. I mean, it's not that safe way for a lot of people. I'm not trying to spread fear away, but I'm, what I'm saying is like it's not as glamorous as these YouTube videos make it sound to be. Way. No, que te entrada las ganas to go cross country. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Way. Yeah, I remember that time we were talking about the van way, those converted vans where mm-hmm. I like we, them. we went down that rabbit hole. I still look at them. I still see sprinters I, yeah. and I still look at um, that whole fucking industry. I do, but in cheap, I got kids way, so I would need fucking like a caravan way. Like there's, a, still, there's still time though, way when they get RV? old enough and move out. No, I mean, well, I, I gotta, I, I've I, seen like people that do the, with the little family where they take their kids and they homeschool them in the little van and they I, go off for like a year or whatever. I have a coworker that's, uh, his kids are, one of them's in college already and the other ones are like 17, 16 and they're just waiting for them to fucking get out so they can just live in the <laughs> RV. Late. Yeah, they're already planning on... Chichi his, Ramon can do it right now. Eh? His chick's pretty, like, secluded. Wait. She doesn't really... She's a homebody. She doesn't really like, like, being in big cities. Like, she has, like, fears, way. What the fuck? Like, they live in, like, like uh, I think... I forget where they live. But they live in fear? Somewhere out in... No, she does. Oh. So, somewhere out in, like, Victorville area out there somewhere. And they went to San Francisco and she was just shitting her pants, bro. Like it was just too much for her. Panic, like you know, anxiety. Anxiety, and it was, it was, it was not too long ago. So it's with all this shit that, you know, they're breaking windows to steal shit. They're she saw that. Like, oh yeah, right like now you Stella, literally yeah. see it. Right? It's not like you're like, oh, I heard about it. Like Dude, you literally see it. It, it, it was, it's been so crazy. I guess right now, post the the fucking lockdown, that they're breaking windows in San Francisco. That they was going around, like the people put pictures, like pictures of notes on their window. Where it says, I don't have anything. I don't have anything inside. Please yeah. don't break my window. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they put, it's a note like on their window. Way, like, please don't break it. I don't got anything inside. Nothing worth anything inside. But you, I was reading this article where, you know, the Raza way is fucking, the Raza way, we're good at fucking seeing where like we need to exploit certain things way. And San Francisco got a, a boom of like a fucking, uh, of, freelance fucking window repair guys that go around their astro vans <laughs> fixing windows and making a killing bro they're making a killing fucking fixing these dudes' windows a ver explícame como esta esa madre de like I didn't I didn't know about this the window breaking it's just it, it's well, been a fucking st- they, they I forgot when we, maybe you have more intel on this way but they did this thing where like if you steal something for less than 950 bucks or something they don't even like charge you or anything so they it's decriminalized it. So or? it's becoming a thing where like these people were going into store shoplifting. But also like in San Francisco, what happened is like you see these people pull up and some of them in really nice cars. I don't know if that has any texture in the conversation. Maybe I'm just being a dick. No, probably wouldn't. But some some of them really nice cars pull up, two dudes come off, fucking break the windows, take their shit, and then they steal it away. And they 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 like they, how apartments, houses, shops. No what? cars. Your car, your van, your trucks parked oh. outside oh. Parked out on the streetway. Your, your bar, you went to go eat, and your van's out. Your, your trucks and, outside. Oh, I was thinking like an apartment, or I was no, thinking they break your window, your car, quick, fucking take your take backpack. Your, yeah, and take your. Bounce. You have a bag there, whatever. I'm gonna say okay. So but it, of, it's just fucking. It's like times are tough. Well, yeah, but I mean, they start cutting fucking copper cables. Well, now they're oh, breaking yeah. windows a la pendejo just to grab whatever's on the seaway. The the thing uh, a lot of they follow the like the detergent and shit that were being stored at Rite Aid. I know I had it in my pocket. And, and, and <laughs> I don't have it. And there was I know. And there was this fucking this 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 there's uh this the Swami at like somewhere up up in the Bay Area. And the vendors way they had all this shit that they were stealing from Walgreens. They were selling it to certain people. And these people were reselling it at the Swami way. Like oh, they shit. still had price tags from Walgreens. <laughs> Because you go into a Walgreens and you know, if you steal less than 90, 900 bucks, they don't they don't really do anything. Man. The 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 employees are like, I don't get paid enough to enforce the law, and if I do enforce the law, nothing happens. That's so. just in San Francisco or all California. I think, I think just San Francisco. I think it was San Francisco, yeah. something like that. They also, because I have seen some videos where like they like I guess um like let's just say we were at a Target, fucking people walking out with backpacks and shirts and clothes and that's everything. It. That's it. Yeah. Because they're, they're getting into the, under the 900 bucks. Nobody gets charged. What the fuck? Well, like, they, they don't waste their time with it, in other words. We, like, they deprioritize their some shit. But, but this, I mean, what are you doing, Dick? Like, you're fucking... Like, so they can see with another, like, security at, uh, like, nothing, at a target. Nothing, nothing, bro. It's just fucking bullshit. Because I did see, like, now, I think, uh, like, just regular residents or common folk are stopping them. I did see, like, there was some, a, some boondock saint shit. Yeah. Turn into Arizona or when? Yeah, or like the people are like, for example, would you stop somebody? Nah. 
You no. wouldn't? No. Okay, when you? The state's not it's doing not shit. Channel. What the fuck do I have to get involved? Yeah, in? but if we don't get involved as a community, it's just going to be fucking the Wild West again. I know, but I'm going to be the dick that's going to fucking shoot some guy or kill some dude. And then I go to jail and, and, and if this person's like... Uh, uh, no way! I'm not uh, don't worry about I'm gonna it. shoot somebody don't, over don't my, my Walgreens bag that I was on my seat. <laughs> don't worry because of the recorder they won't let you zoom in and shit. To oh, fucking. the pins to zoom the written house. <laughs> that <laughs> shit was fucking crazy. Listen, bro. The, the honesty, the honest truth about it is that if I intervene with a crime and somehow I hurt somebody, uh, I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy for enforcing the law when these people are looting these stores. But why would I want to deal with that? Shit, I don't know. Man. No, where fuck. That's that. a good point, but I don't know. Like, I don't know if I just that, sit back and let it happen. We are just sitting back and letting it happen. No, it, like uh, if it was you, happening you in wanna, front of my face, you want to intervene? You're not gonna do that, bro. You, you want to intervene on what? On, what are you talking bro. about? Like, like you know, like if I see like fucking a bunch of cabrones just going in there, fucking taking stuff target? and walking out, and like, what the fuck? You know, like no, that's I. I mean, y si te voltean y te fucking golpean y te ponen los hospital over a t-shirt. Yeah, he intervened. Where? Over because you wanted to stop him stealing a t-shirt. You're not. You're not gonna create change with fucking telling some one dude to not do it. I get what you're saying, way. And honestly, I want to subscribe to that ideology, way. But <laughs> huh? you, you want to subscribe? That's a good one, though. Uh, but but the fact of the matter is, bro, is like. I mean, I don't think it, it, let's say he's a let's say he's a young black dude way and you fucking intervene and you trip him and he hits his head. You're the guy that killed a young black dude. Now what? Now how are you going to be viewed on TV way? Oh, no, I'm Chicano. I'm cool. No, fuck <laughs> no. No, but he's saying my, my 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 thing was like he's saying, bro, if I see a bunch of dudes fucking stealing Stealing fucking shit from Target. What well, the bunch of dudes? You're gonna stop three dudes from stealing. You're not fucking... gonna do anything. Mm. I'm saying the the the, the just, worst case is, is they're gonna fucking turn around on you, way, eh? and, and you, you're not gonna trip one of them. They're gonna the, fuck you. You're up. also the asshole because they're stealing from a corporation and you're keeping them from stealing from the man. Mm, yeah. I don't. I don't, I mean, I understand if you say like, oh fuck, they're beating up. They're they're trying to rob a fucking old person or something. You know. Yeah. That's what they're pedo, but that's if they're different. Yeah. yeah, if they're taking some pens and shirts from fucking Target, then fine. If, a, if a woman's being harassed by an asshole yeah. and, and she's in danger, yeah, that's different. That's what they're pedo. Yeah, that I understand. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. yeah let me let me. Like, I'll, you know. I'll fucking put my life at hold on that. Like I don't know. But unas camisas I mean, and shit like material shit. It would piss you off, Ramon, if your if your window got fucked. There's oh no no um, I'm I, I'm I'll, that's what I'm saying. It's just like we, dude, it's just. There, it's we have a listener that's a photographer up in San Francisco. And I'm sure on JB could. Sports. I was chatting it up with that dude, and yeah. um, these guys can fucking take pictures after a certain time. They'll steal their gear. He was telling me that if he goes on a photo shoot and he's going to go, um, like by the bridge in San Francisco, and he's going to do a photo shoot. He doesn't do it like in the golden hour, like or, or the by sun's himself. going down. No, dude, it you get your shit jacked. Shit. Like he says, is that right now that he can't even fucking go take pictures outside because they're they're gonna steal his shit and you gotta be smart about it. Really, San Francisco is is definitely one one of those that's it's they always say que pinche you know California is out of control and shit, but all the, I I think a good part of that was in San Francisco. It was really out of control. It's San Francisco in in, in in various on various like levels, you know. Yeah, they. It's not just crime. It's fucking the housing. Somebody fucked it up somehow. The, the the housing all the way like they tried I think I think it was around there or or even somewhere in the Bay Area I mean that they're I think they had a program like for teachers he said lo quitaron because because uh, the 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 people that own the properties are like hey bro we can't we can't rent to them cheaper way if fucking next door they're they're, they're fucking charging three grand and I have to charge fucking eighteen hundred right here because it's a teacher now fuck that so I, they ended that shit or something. Well, something I'll go along those lines I'm gonna fuck that one up but it was something where like if you're a teacher pues you get a you get like preferential treatment place to get like a spot like a, a, a discount rate or whatever kind of like a i i, don't, I understand that yeah but they, that. they took it away because the property people were like well dick it's not fair to us that i i i can rent that unit for three thousand or whatever and now it's, I, it's I all money bro yeah. I, I think that's that, that's one of the problem because everybody thinks about the now they're not thinking about the like how this is gonna better like if you are able to have the teachers in the community, guess what? These teachers are able to fucking teach the tomorrow's that, future, you know? That's yeah, what I'm saying. But I'm these on, programs. But I'm on. Look look at what you're saying, bro. Like you you're talking of it as a rational fucking person that's that's been through <laughs> yeah. shit. Why would if if you were part of that fucking group, why would you want some ghetto fucking kid to have an opportunity? Like you're gonna do everything you can to keep us from fucking being in that group 
Like, why would you want to fucking give money to teachers to 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 have youth that comes up that has a little bit more of a chance to do something? Well, because that is going to change. That's the thing. It's like everybody thinks in the now. Nobody thinks like what, it, like how well, how much impact this is going to have. Everybody's focused on the now, on the greed, on my pocket, my wallet, my bank account, my this. Que no ven más adelante de lo que puede ser, you know? Like, yes, okay. You know what? Right now, you're able to have this for the teachers. These teachers are able to gonna teach these kids, which in the future it might bring crime down. Because well, you know what? Now you have this child focused on something. You're you're like um, helping them develop certain skills to to follow certain dreams. To you know what? You're talented. You could either do music. You could do art. You could do dance. You could do fucking theater. You could write. You could fucking you know sing, play an instrument. Whatever it is. Well, not only that, you're really good at fucking problem solving. You could be a detective. You could be a fucking teacher yourself. Anyway, that's that sounds nice. I, way, I, I feel like a converted Ramon. Way, my job here is done. This, this <laughs> sounds really. I'm out. This sounds good. Way, I mean, but no, but that that's. But this is, this I can is, now leave this podcast and feel good. This is America, bro. <laughs> I understand, but it's like if if. Everybody, I guess no. everybody thinks about the money. Everybody thinks uh, about like making we me all rich. Do, though. It's not just them; it's us we, as we, well. We, we live in a very selfish country. We, we, Everything's we, about the we, the, uh, not the we. It's about uh, the me. I, I'll press, I'll pr- push back a little bit on the now because no, 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 no. I don't think people are thinking of the now. Where I mean, you got Elon Musk and all these fucking people already thinking of invading other planets. I feel like <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of people that are seeing the writing on the wall, we, and they're they're aboard ship. Let's get the fuck out of here. Um, but, you know, we talked about it a little bit when we started recording. I think the whole country is just going into that that transitional period where it doesn't work. Like, this doesn't work. Like, listen, we need to completely change and restructure this country, right? Because, I mean, it's it's just not working, dude. It's not working, man. I mean, and, and, and yeah. Now a lot of things are making sense because, um, por ejemplo... Uh, what was it? Uh, our friend Westside Dave's the other day sent a, a, a picture of uh, Guy Fox, <laughs> right? You know, and, and I've been thinking about just, it. Just what is that? Fucking eagle Guy Fox, el, el V for Vendetta guy, el Fox. Okay, uh, el Fox. The mask? Vicente? No, the mask guy. <laughs> yeah, he but he Fox? was a, he was a real he was a real person in in London or in England and shit that wanted to like. Over, I don't know if he wanted to throw over the monarchy or anything, but he wa- he was like wanted to do changes for the people, right? So there's things like that, and then you start seeing like um, he was a I, socialist, bro. Yeah, socialist. So then I remember, <laughs> I, I know, know, yeah, or socialist. So I then at I, well, I remember one of my favorite movies is uh, fucking Fight Club, and 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 you start thinking of the plot and everything, how they would just want to start from zero, you know, everybody uh, at a fair point, you know, they wanted to eliminate fucking these credit reports or these fucking um dead and shit dead and everything and everybody starts from that, zero that that's kind of uh the what uh the mr robot one was too that show mr robot well the- yeah so mm. I, I you know now that i'm getting older and i'm looking at this i'm like holy shit like from back in the days everybody well, not everybody but there was already people talking about this like it's like what you're saying like Something has to get done because it's just going to shit. Uh, uh, it and is. it's and it's been shit. I want to be optimistic, right? But it's sometimes it's really hard to be optimistic because even if it goes to zero, bro, the same people uh, two, three years from now, even maybe less, right? But the same people are gonna have the same power. The same people that don't. If we start from zero, it's there's there's not gonna be any difference. Oh, shit, getting a revolution or when? No, nah, nah, no, no. I'm not, I'm not saying that. Well, that, that that's all you get the, the yeah. change you're talking about. But I'm saying that. I mean, my, there is already a revolution going on. Way, I mean, there's that, a there's a few revolutions going on that are like still fucking dark, way. But I mean, well, because I, I I argue I I argue with a few people. Well, not argue. I guess discuss whatever. I don't know. Turns into argument. Conversation. Everything was, always turns into it, an argument. Well, no, when you bring up the like the constitution, pues, and yeah. And people talk about the constitution, like, and I'm not just talking right away. People are going to think I'm talking about like fucking guns, wait, but I'm not just talking about guns. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying they always talk about the constitution. Oh, it's a fucking constitution. Okay, constitution this, everything. Okay, my pinchy rights isn't the constitution and this and this. Constitution this and constitution. I go, Dick, the constitution was meant to be a living document, way. Mm-hmm. In other words, we're supposed, to, they built it into it that you can like add to it and change revise. it. Revise. Yeah. And revise. So you can't talk about it as it's written in stone way. Yeah. And they everybody likes to talk about it like this shit is written in stone. Yeah. And it's not supposed to way. That I think that's part of like where we veered off way where now everything is constitution this and con but 
it's a living document where it's well, meant it's, it's, it's to like, evolve. It's kind of like the Bible where not that you can change it, but it's like you and you interpret how you interpret want. what you want. Like mm -hmm. this is cool, but no, no, that's not cool. But I, I'm saying that the constitution was meant to evolve, but it's, it hasn't. There's no, there's no, and and now with the way that we're now we're talking about all this metaverse shit. Like now it's getting like where where we're we, 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 we going. There has to be some kind of a rights on the internet too, bro. The, they're they're really behind on all that shit. Even like the like like yo the fucking Bitcoin shit, all that. They're all behind on all that shit. Oh right? shit, bro. That's yeah. They're super behind on everything. Like, I'm take, just saying. Sometimes I mean, we gotta stop thinking about like the right now. And I know some people that have the money, that have the means, that have the power or the the knowledge or lo que sea. They're working for something in the future, but I think it's more for like the rich it's more for like them getting out of it you know this it's gonna, always it's, been about the yeah fucking, it's gonna it's gonna go to like 1984 like fucking you know you're gonna nah, have we're the already top, 1984 we. the fucking the top elite and then you're just gonna have the people at the bottom there the, the middle is it's yeah. fading away the, the digo, we're no, already, the, there is no middle what do you mean fading away yeah, dude, yeah, there's there a is very no, very there, small handful nah, of the there's middle. No middle. There, there's the middle that that are using debt to create a life that they can't afford they're they're making sixty sixty grand a year living in a five hundred thousand dollar house with a fucking thirty thirty thousand dollar car. Like that's the middle. Is you're you're projecting wealth through debt, which yeah, that's what the rich do, but not in shit that's not gonna appreciate. Yeah, because it, even it, it it's supposed to they were, were in in L A or California. The minimum fucking house now is like like seven hundred thousand. It's mm -hmm. fucking ridiculous. So he, he's talking about five hundred. So the 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 facts was as much like closer to seven hundred. The average car price now is like forty two, forty three thousand. Have you noticed that the car prices are going up? Well, the, the car, yeah, the cars. It's since the COVID thing, there's a shortage and all that shit. And the pero par, so what was I gonna tell you? Oh, so the nineteen eighty four thing, we're already there way. Now what we're heading to, I mean. All of, obviously, all my fucking opinion. Matrix. No, we're already at the nineteen eighty four. No, I have, took the red pill. We, bro. We, yeah, we already have the. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm already at red pill. My ass a few years ago. We we already have the fucking fake news, right? Like the fucking everybody's talking about fucking fake news. We already have all that shit, like nineteen eighty four shit. Now we're heading into back to like a. Uh, well, can you explain nineteen eighty four so people the maybe book, there's people the book. Out, there maybe, a, maybe there's people out there that don't know what we're talking about. Right? So like the the country they pretty much rewrite history and tell you oh shit like like every time you get like a new update oh fucking this didn't happen that's all fucking rumor or there was the other one that that they made a the movie was kind of fucking whack the Fahrenheit uh. Oh, 453, something where they burn all the books. Where the, the firemen essentially fucking go out and burn books that way. Any book that, yeah. So, like, same thing. They 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 say they have all the books, and they go, oh, fuck, what? oh, I'm looking for this book. Oh, that book doesn't exist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? And if it and does they, exist, it's, they it's they already rewrite it. It's they, rewritten. They, they edited it, whatever. But I'll, so, I, I already think we're there, way. We're, we're pretty much there. I think we're heading now to pretty much back to medieval ages, way. I just saw... It was a few weeks ago. I don't remember. It was a I'm yeah, pinchy out. Like I said, fucking yeah, se me borran las pinchy weeks even. But the we're not going back to the medieval sense where uh, what are they called? I don't remember the terms. But I was watching this thing like you know how the during COVID people are moving like to little towns and shit because mm -hmm. you're working from home. So they're oh shit, there's a nice little pad. It's fucking it's cheaper, barato, yeah. cheaper, and you're like out in the fucking country or in the woods, and it's fucking beautiful, and I can work from home. So these little towns like this one, they 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 focus. I think in a little like a. Uh, Thing like outside like Aspen or something like in Colorado way. <coughs> and so now the homes for the people there, I mean, are unaffordable way. So everybody has to fucking live like a couple towns over or they live in their fucking car. Or they, they essentially camp fucking, you get to live a camping style fucking in your truck and it's a bunch of young people now. And then there's one lady <coughs> that they, they focused on a little bit. And this is what I'm saying, getting to like a medieval thing. That she's saying, oh, yeah, like she owns like five businesses. She has fucking rental properties that she rents like for like Airbnb type shit or, or just rent. But like fucking market rates so that people can afford. She's like, yeah, my fucking employees. I have fucking I don't know. I forgot how many fucking un, un, like a homeless employees that camp out of their car or whatever, live out of their car. She goes, so now I'm building I'm building another little apartment building. So I'm going to I'm going to rent them fucking their thing. <clears throat> and she's like, I, and I'm going to do them a favor way. I'm going to rent them. For fifteen hundred, when I can easily get fucking three thousand, three three thousand on Airbnb or whatever. So now we're going back to that system where your fucking employer, or the pinchy king, or whatever, rents you your fucking property too. So now 
if if she fires you, does that mean hey you can't live in that fucking apartment anymore? No. You're homeless again. No. So now your 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 home is now tied to your fucking employment. So she's paying you shit wages to pay her rent. <laughs> To pay for you. Oh. So essentially, te da el chequecito and then she goes, hey, rent's due. Back to me. ¿Me entiendes? So she's creating that cycle again, like the middle of ages where you work for someone and you live in someone else's fucking land. That's how that, that Kaiser Hospital started with Kaiser Steel. It was, it was just, it was created for the employees of, of Kaiser. It was a steel company. And so they created a hospital that was like for their employees. And like what he's talking about is they keep you under the umbrella, like... You can go to this hospital if you work for us, and 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 it's just, it's like what China does. Where wait, yeah. wait let's not even go that far. I mean, like, like, like we're Mexican. Fucking los, los estos, ¿cómo se llama? Los caciques or like los estos terrenos o las haciendas. Yeah. Así también tenían, you know. They had their workers and they had their little hut. Uh, they were not slaves. They worked there. They worked their yeah. asses off for very little wages, but they had somewhere to live. Yeah. yeah y si no, y si no, los corrían and. Pero lo, lo que te digo, oh, son, this, de la casa. They this, call it au, au pair. Oh, what is that word? I forgot the au term pair? for a way. Au pair? It's not uh, there, like the person. Pair. I don't, I don't know. know what. The person yeah. that. Pero lo, my, my thing that's tripping out and that I'm saying that that's where we're going is that lady didn't see it like, oh shit, fucking scoring way. I'm not only like I pay them and then the money just comes back to me in rent. Mm -hmm. To her, in her head, fucking, she's like, she's yeah. Doing I'm, a solid. I'm doing you guys a favor, bro. Wow. I'm hooking but, you up with the fucking apartment. But maybe in her head, she does mean well. It's just the, mm, the big she, picture. She, is, she knows what she's doing, Wayne. Well, I don't know. I mean. I know, even only, even if she believes she's doing well, that's a problem with society, Wayne. Yeah. She, that, that's not that. In other words, even if, if in your head you think, oh, I'm doing, this there's, is fucking charity There's work. a lot of problems in society. The fact no, that. No, but I'm saying that's a flaw. The, with, the yeah. fact that we accept inflation and consider it part of just economics is fucking crazy to me, bro. Like, there's a lot of flaws in the system that are like, and that whole inflation thing, I mean, dude, they're, they're covering that up by saying that shit's stopped in the ports and all that shit. I get it. Well, yeah, for sure. But nah, dude, like this, this whole gap that you guys are talking about, about like the poor and the rich, it's going to further fucking get more. Yeah, yeah we're talking about very distant with, with, with everything, with everything that's going on with, with the way that, I mean. You're gonna when like 20 years ago, if somebody was a billionaire, you're like, oh shit, a billionaire. Yeah. Now so we're gonna get trillionaires, dude. We're gonna get people that are gonna be trillionaires, and and that's gonna further further fucking uh, spread out that 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 gap between the rich and the poor. Where? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. We're heading back to like the medieval. I can't remember the fucking term for these things, but like that lady, where like in San Francisco, pues, so oh, yeah. We're going to employ you at a, what's a company in San Francisco? Probably see like in the Tesla where it's a fucking or Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. Go, yeah, we'll employ you. Oh, but I can't afford anything nearby. No problem, wait. We got apartments over here. We rent for you too, wait. Mm -hmm. So también te pagan and then your chequecito goes right back to them, wait. Mm -hmm. So you, you're now in a cycle where, where your home and everything is tied to your job, wait. No. Yeah. So you, that fucking, that, that thing owns you, wait. I think that's what WeWorks that was doing you. too, wait. I think también? WeWorks was doing that. And when they fucking fell down because of the corruption, and the collapse, that a lot of people lost like the housing and yeah, shit. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So everything's yeah. tied to that. What was WeWorks? It's just a, uh, like a startup that the guy was fucking it was, a thief. It was the code, the, the one where you, you rent like, like you pay like week. a monthly fee and you, you have a little office or you a little cubicle. There. Oh, Remember? Okay. It was a huge fucking company, dude. Yeah, like, but they're lying about the financials and shit. Yeah, yeah they were getting investors. Uh, this this Japanese. Did you watch the documentary? No way, but I. I it's I pretty good. About it, yeah, that's fucking well, shit. Well, I forgot. I think Hulu has it, but it was just it created a cult way. It's like a cult. These, these this dude and this chick that were the typical fucking. We take ayahuasca wearing white, oh, fucking shit. shady ass people. Oh <laughs> shit! Those kind of dudes. Oh, shit. Like the chick's oh, very earthy, very like ah, like fuck you, bitch. And the guy's very fucking like like I holistic. Forget, yeah, yeah, those dudes. Was it that and everybody was just yeah. fucking brainwashed. Like they would, they would have, they would have concerts at their oh, fucking their, their um their, their like weekly meetings would be like in a venue with look like a rock concert, and these guys were like rock stars, and everybody's like, yeah, we works, and then like, <laughs> <laughs> toma, <laughs> oh, pa dentro, ta cabrón, bro. Even going back to the thing, I told that that lady pues with the fucking thing. I mean, she looks all fucking hipster and cool. Ya está me rucona, but she's a fucking cool guy. She knows all the fucking cool word that, that I don't even know. Where, like, dude, there, there's this, there's this, there's this payment processing company out of Oregon where that that the CEO got a lot of shit a few years Dan, back. Dan, the Dan, Dan Price, the, no. the one that he started Dan, paying them. 
Well, the, that one, I, well, the, yeah, because I follow that dude. Pero that, ese, ese oh, está, está cabrón. Oh, 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 ya estoy bien terapiado. I hijacked my like, story, a ver. No, no, porque <laughs> even during the COVID thing, during the COVID thing, so like, he, he, he said, hey, bro, so like, Either yeah, was pretty, I think he did that a couple years back where before yeah, the COVID. No, yeah, the, the one you're saying where he 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 made a, the minimum payment for anybody who's employed was like seventy five thousand. Seventy five thousand, yeah. Yeah, so he took a pay cut. He took like a fucking major yeah. pay cut it, from like the millions that he was making as CEO. He went down yeah. to, I think he went down like to their minimum to he like seventy five. Yeah. Enough. Let me just put this in before you yeah, start dale, dale, renting. Dale, dale. Uh, enough, <laughs> enough that the that the employees had to chip in to buy him a Lexus, a Tesla, a Tesla, and then during COVID. Everybody agreed to take a pay cut yeah, just so the company to. like that's that's an environment that I no, can see. No, also so there's more to that story. So during COVID, he said, "Ira, either everybody like will have to take this much pay cut, you know, or I have to start letting people go. You guys like decide way. Like do do we? You guys make the decision for the company. Do we let some people go, or everybody willing to go down to fifty thousand, right, for this year? And they all fucking decide to take the pay cut." And then when uh, they started bouncing back, like fucking this year, whatever, he paid them all back. He paid them yeah, all back. He back, paid, yeah. he back paid them from 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 2020 where the, he paid them 50. He paid them the extra 25 to every employee. Way. Yeah. So he got paid back. Fucking back pay. So I was like, ¿Y oh, cómo se llama esta uh, it's the it's, ah, fuck. gravity payments. Gravity payments. Yeah. Up in Oregon. No? And, Oregon? They, and when he did or that Seattle. thing where, where he said, I'm, I'm going to pay everybody 75,000 a year a huevo. Starting pay is 75 in my company. Everybody fucking all the well, he, CNNs and he was, on, he was on all the like finance shows and everybody was like, what the fuck are you doing? They're, they're like, saying like the company will be dead by the end of the year. Everybody was like fucking the company is going to be fucking dead by the end of the year. Yeah, no way. They got more clients. It, it's up. People are happy. There was a lot of families fucking made. Yeah, yeah. A lot, they, of, people, a lot, of, a lot of people started having kids because, hey, we could afford it. Yeah, they, a lot of people are like, they bought a house. They fucking uh, bought babies. They I bought feel babies like, what does gravity there. payments do, though? They, they process, process payments. It's just the process, oh. the payment processing company. Yeah. But I don't think that would work in every company. Wait, I, don't, I don't, I mean, that's not for everything. I don't no. think it's a good experiment and it worked for him, but I don't think uh, like that would work. But there's a lot of companies that would work for it. Yeah, I'm sure. But I mean, I mean that it, that's it, a risk. It, it requires a top guy quest to make a sacrifice. Yeah, because like we said, this guy went down from his like million or two million. We were making yeah. to like 75 or 100. Yeah, like he, was, he was part play. of them. So, so like we said, like so much so that he didn't buy a Tesla. Everybody in the company pitched Chipped in, in to, yeah. to buy him a Tesla. Way. Yeah. It's so, kind of a cool story. Oh, okay. So he, like he didn't say, hey, I want a Tesla. Like, can everybody no, chip no, it? No, no. Like no, well, the, the employees. I, he, he probably mentioned that he would buy a Tesla pues, if he had some money. Oh. But they were grateful for his, I guess, sacrifice. Fuck like, yeah, dude. I would like to. That they're like, you know what? Let's buy this. I like to be part person. of that, 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 that company. Oh, yeah. the, 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 the employees, like when they interview him, they're all fucking Everybody's tight. happy, bro. Like everybody's yeah. stoked. Because the minimum pay, minimum is yeah, 75 so, grand a year. So the, 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 you don't get a lot of like fucking employees quitting. You, nope. you get retention rate is pretty high. His retention rate is, is, is above, like really above no. average. I mean, he, no he, one leaves. He did it right, bro. But like you said, it, that, that wouldn't work for a, most, I don't want to say I don't for think a lot, so, a lot yeah. of companies. I don't think it'll work but for a, a lot of people. But remember, like we were talking about like the CEO pay, like they pay him a chingo, like you're saying for the. For like the stock way for the investors to say, oh shit, it's a look. Yeah, it's a yeah. look. But you can do that the other way también, no? Couldn't you fucking pay? Couldn't the same way that you fucking. So instead of paying this guy fucking millions or billions, couldn't you pay your employees really well and go out? Well, if they're paying their employees fucking 75000 a year, like starting, like mm -hmm. they must be making money, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. It's a good, it's a, it'll be a good experiment. Way. Yeah, I That's mean, it's definitely a valid point, way, but. Who's going to take that risk where? Chicano Shuffle well, when they start took, their company, bro. No, that guy took the risk and fucking, it worked out. Everybody yeah. starts off at fucking 30 bucks an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Wait but a minute. It's, is but that it, even... But even it's a, different. It's not, it? it's not the same thing for him because that's not a public company. What I'm saying is a, it's a company that's in the stock market to take that risk. That they take that risk. Mm, okay, okay. That said, saying. okay, we're gonna play the employees. Like, what, what, what company is gonna take that risk? With? Yeah, because he, he's he's in the hundreds of employees. When you're talking about he's like a little thousands, guy. he's not in the he's not a public company. No, but I'm saying yeah, tam, tampoco. He's only in the. I think he has like two or three hundred employees, pues. And when you're talking about like the the if like a big public company, pues, that has thousands of employees, mm -hmm. like a public yeah, company. Ta, yeah, it's a, it's a bigger risk, I guess. You have a lot of people in your head, way that are like, hey, wait, here's a check. and uh, Well, see how much shit that guy got, Wei. Uh, he got a lot of shit, Wei. So imagine if there was investors. Hey, wait, here's a check, Wei. Just, just chew on that view, Yeah, andale. It's pretty, it's cute, but... Mm. 
doesn't yeah. it doesn't sit well with us. <laughs> You're making too much noise, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My landlord Ramon, he doesn't he doesn't like noise. I don't need him to know I got a raise, bro. No, keep me keep me at 35k. <laughs> oh shit. I mean, I don't see the raza fucking taking a pay away saying uh pinche I don't know. Eh? Well, uh, I mean, it depends. Though. Like the raza responds to like a good leader, to like someone that really looks out for them. Someone that's honest and fucking and transparent. Or perceived honest, because we got a lot of transeros with. No, I understand, but I mean, you know, fucking, yeah, this is a pedal way. Like, you see something that's too good to be true, right away you try to find the flaw. Like, a ver, ¿dónde me la van a saltar este cabrón? We fall for a lot of transas, we. Man, we. Yeah. I don't know, we. I just see the gap as the time goes by, as I think I see a gap. Fucking getting more and more fucking. I don't know, way. Fucking, you gotta do something, bro. I know. I'm at that point where, like, I could understand. Like, for example, Fernie has kids, right? I I could understand his his you know his preocupaciones and like shit. What are my kids gonna go through? You know, cómo va a estar para ellos? That's a lot of stress, way. Yeah, I don't have that. I mean, just even. Uh, I mean, if I was a parent, way to be honest with you. I would be worried about what they taught him in school. I would be that parent. <laughs> I would be like, what the fuck? Why I'm not that worried about that way. I would be that parent. I'd be like, what the fuck? Where That's all that like, like CRT shit and que se lo están terapiando. There's, I, there's that. There's happening though. I mean, it's like you're saying that book where they they erase history. There's a lot of that going on. Way. I mean, but at some point, you as a parent, you would take it upon yourself to like, okay, this is what the school's teaching you. But there's also this history. This me, is our history. Me as a parent, yeah. yeah. It's a it's a very um, isolated me. Yeah. People are not like that. Uh, I want to even say that the majority of people want other people to teach them shit. They're not going to take responsibility away. But but here's my thing. Wait. So, por decir, at, at least the, the, the three of us, pues, los, puede ser que los terapiaron, but we didn't, I mean, or they tried, por decir, like if we're saying like in school way. I mean, we know that the... The high school, even our, in our times, the fucking the the like history book was is fucking all edited was pretty much way. You know, mm-hmm. it's all fucking told from a, a, a certain perspective. So we already know that way, but somehow we grew up and we learned otherwise. No, so I have the same faith that the 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 person I am and the person my my girl is that our kids will grow up enough. Pues that okay, yeah, se los terapan fucking through fifth grade, sixth grade. Once they start wising up, they go wait a minute. What's missing here from fucking this textbook? Why I, I hear this and I hear this and they'll investigate like we did. My, I think it's the parents' responsibility though, where to teach their kids how to practice critical thinking. Where because if you don't teach your kids how to practice critical thinking, you're just gonna take everything at face value and you're not gonna be like, wait. And nobody likes a kid that's asking a bunch of questions. Shit. Like, <laughs> cállate, güey. What do you mean? For what? <laughs> hey, esto por qué? Güey, hey, come on. ¿Cuántas just... veces te jalaban las orejas por preguntón, güey? A lot. <laughs> a mí también, güey. A lot, güey, because I was very también, curious. ¿A mí también? ¿Y a ti, No. Y, but, okay, so a mí, me, a mí me, 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 me jalaban las orejas y las patillas a lot por pinche metiche. I've been a contrarian since I was a kid, güey. Like, yeah. why? No, por qué? No, I, and you know what? I can attest to that because I've known you since you were like 18, way, and you fucking still the same. Like, no, not the same, but yeah, you you always well, ask questions, and even well. when we were telling the story, or I was, you're like, hey, so I'm like, ah, estaba, yeah, me va a echar a perder mi historia este cabrón. <laughs> Fuck. And no, no, just... Then Google comes out, ya valió madre, like, nah, 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 hey, Ramon, nah, my friend Google right here. <laughs> So this, but don't you but, think? Don't you think even that, Fernando? Like, yeah. even if we have like like internet and like we start searching for the truth, don't you think even that's a little biased way? Because I feel like biased. I think that anything you look for, you're gonna have the view. You're gonna find the view that that you want to find, right? So everything has a bias to it, and even though it could be the quote unquote truth. But you're gonna find the bias that you wanna. But I mean, what do you prefer? You prefer you prefer not to have the information way. But everything that's information it, it, that's in the internet, there's a bias towards it. So anybody's gonna gravitate towards that, even if it's something like QAnon, way that's so fucking out of like out you, of you can't comprehend like the, the this community. There's still people that see that and like, yep, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's but I'm truth. saying, would you rather not have that info at your fingertips? I mean, they say ignorance is bliss, right, bro? I yeah, mean, but I'm saying, I'm, I'm asking you, like, would you rather not have like the internet? Me personally, the person that I am, yes, way. But I can see how it's beneficial to some people to not 
know all that stuff. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Because you can't handle it. You can't, you're I'm, not going to be I'm confident enough that my kids, I, even my, my, my little girl, pues, es preguntona, like you're saying, güey. Fucking, she asks about everything. Mm. My son is still fucking young enough that que, like, fucking all he cares about is fucking Hot Wheels and Monster Trucks. Yeah. But I'm confident enough that fucking, like, that, 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 that I guess we will teach her enough, like, the critical thinking skills where she looks things up herself and makes her decision with. Yeah. Like, I mean, if she has a bias, I mean, I'm not going to stop that. Everybody has but, a bias. And, and even if uh, uh, the age that your kids are, I mean, they're still a person, right? Like, they yeah. have their own thoughts already. Yeah. Like, you know, no matter how much parents can say, like, oh, I want you to do this. Like, your kids are already, like, me, I'm talking because I, I was a kid once and I already, in when I was a small kid, I already had, like, no, this is what I want. Like, I'm this person. Well, you, but uh, I mean, hablando de, de eso, de, you know, you're saying the parents and everything. I think it's also important that a lot of our history, even if it's within our family, it's uh, passed down way. Like, do you know much about your fa your grandparents or your like, you know, your 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 mom's side or your dad's side? Maybe now you're starting to know more, right? Yeah, I'm starting to know more, right? Because you're asking these questions, and and your parents are at a point where like they're willing to share this because you know you're an adult now, so you have this, and you're maybe able to pass it down to your nephews or your nieces también. Yeah, you definitely. I think you learn the older you get, you kind of learn more like where you're from. If you're curious, right? Because there are people that don't really. Care oh no, about dude, this I'm fucking curious. Like I now, like I asked my dad about his, you know. I've told you that we got a... Oh, my God. So, this is fucking trippy. So, okay. My brother is special needs, right? I told you guys this. So, he has all these nurses and in care, take care... You know, what is it? Uh, caretakers that sometimes come away by the house. So, viene este muchacho que viene to take his vitals, right? And he comes in. And it was funny that he came to our house because his last name is... My, uh, like, Magistelos. Like, our last name, right? Like, oh, shit. Ha, ha, ha. We're like, oh, fuck. Somos parientes. Blah, blah, blah. Así pasó. Fast forward um, to like maybe June, he comes by and he and the, the nurse is asking that like, hey, where's, where's Don Chano at? Oh, se fue una fiesta ya con, con sus parientes y que la chingada. Oh, okay. All right. Following when he comes, he's like, oh, Don Chano, ¿cómo le fue? No, estuve con familia. Y es más, aquí estoy viendo las fotos. And he starts looking at the photos. And he's like, hey, wait a minute. That's my uncle right there. Like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, that's my tío so-and-so. Like, That's your uncle? Yeah, well, that's my cousin. I'm like, really? Dude, this this kid, uh, this nurse, is su abuelo de él era hermano de mi abuelo, güey. No, oh, shit. So we're like related. We're like fucking... Literally, yeah. Literally related. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? You were like, dude, you're like coming to our house and all this time. So it's, it's one of those things. So... A raíz de eso, so I started asking my dad about, you know, my grandpa in his, in his life. And I think I told you that we had a, he had a brother, que era un pichi matón, right? Oy, oy, <laughs> I, I did tell I you guys. So, yeah. yeah. And everything. So I started, and my dad's like, I really don't know much about him because nobody really talked about him. You know, I'm like, fuck, who would know? He's not like, well, you know, maybe your tía. I'm like, fuck. So I'm not like, I, I really want to investigate a little bit more i want to know my maton lineage i know you know <laughs> i see a fucker in target <laughs> he's gonna run with it that, that's why he's gonna be a vigilante way yeah that's why he's gonna be shoot a, people a outside charles, of target a charles bronson way <laughs> put that shirt down what's <laughs> 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 that charles bronson movie death, 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 wish? death wish yeah eh? target wish <laughs> <laughs> your wish cabron <laughs> But it's just shit like that. And it's like, I think it's important that we find out that we start asking the questions about our family and start getting some answers because. Well, I think especially if you're, if you have like issues, like, you know, we all, we all kind of grow up with like traumas and shit. So if, if you, your parents are like, mm, you don't have the best relationship with them. I think it's good to ask questions where, because then you figure out why they're the way that they are and why they were like that with you. Mm -hmm. And then you start hearing like, well, this dude, my dad, he did this to me. But then, fuck, dude, his, his dad did that to him. Like, oh, shit, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And that dude's dad probably did the same thing. And then you start getting more like compassionate towards like your, your parents. And shit. Well, did, did, did you know your, your uh, dad's parents, your grandparents? I met my grandma. But, but not, did you live with like, did you like not, not live with her, but conviviste con ella? A little bit. Yeah. 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 She loved me. What do you remember about her, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I like, just, if you could describe her. I remember her having, like, a like a really strong, like, Native American face. Like, very strong. Like, if you if you picture a portrait of a Native American woman, like, back in the day, like, uh -huh. 
you would see my grandma like red face wrinkles like that's what I picture her. Like there's Con a, las trenzas. I'm imagining trenzas. Yeah, trenzas. Yeah, already no, saying, no, like, I'm picturing yeah. a black and white picture, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's how my grandma was. Paula was her name. Paula. Um, but she was she was she didn't fucking play around, bro. She was like a gra a, a, a parent of like 12, 13 kids. Super fucking hustler. Um, not even a hustler way, but very stoic. Not showing emotions. Oh, okay. Like very like um, never impressed. Like my dad would. My dad would come out on the radio and shit, or they would talk about him, like, oh, he scored and this and that. And he would go and try to tune in, like, hey, look. And my grandma like, nah. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, go fucking clean the yard or some shit. So my dad grew up with all that, like, rejection. Mm, okay. He felt like he didn't have, like, the... The support. The support, yeah. Mm, okay. So that... How about your grandpa on his side? I don't know really a lot about him. I just know that he was very, like, it's the same way, like very strict, like stern. Beat, beat this dude, like just very, like pissed at the world way. Yeah, I mean, no oh, shit, pissed at the world running the family way. It is, bro. Yeah, it's fucking crazy, bro. So, like, you would think, like all that shit, like why would I be different unless I change that cycle? Way? Yeah, yeah. See, I, I think that, like, Fernie, you, you talk to your grandpa a lot? I know that you say he, when he you take talks to me a lot. Okay. <laughs> but you don't do follow-ups, do you? Well, Dick, my, my grandpa's not one to fucking... Uh, he likes to talk, bro. He's a very social dude. He's a Ramon style. Yeah, I love talking he, to him. He's he's a very... It, it's it's strange because the, I'm a very antisocial guy, but my my dad is very social. My fucking grandpa's very social. Your mom is social. My mom's pretty social, but she doesn't... She's not, like, out of her way social. My grandpa and my dad are, like, out of their way social. So, like, the the males in my family are fucking, I guess, prior to me. Even my brother is fucking. Yeah, you know, like, your brother is very fucking that's social. That's what I'm saying. So, most of the males in my family are, are all very, like, my, hyper-social. My, my like, kid fucking time. loves hanging out with Chon. Like, my, my grandpa yeah. starts telling his life story to, like, whoever he sits next to at the doctor fucking in the, yeah. the, in the waiting room type of shit. Yeah. So, I, I got to talk he, more to your grandpa, dude. He, I like you know, talking to him. Well, yeah, because you guys are both fucking. Yeah. I got I to gotta ask him, like, how was it in his young days, you know? Like, I'm always curious how they were in their young days, you know? Oiga, yo, yo tuve un tío que fue matón. Oh, no. Tuve un abuelito que fue matón. Un tío, un tío abuelo. Well, like, ¿Usted fue matón? We, we, <laughs> I mean, I have all this shit at home, too, where, like, I've been thinking for a couple of months to take it to my dad's house and just record and just yeah. fucking show it to my sisters when he's gone and or, like... You know, just have it. Like, have, like, let's get into your fucking story. Like, what the fuck? What happened? Like, <laughs> that plan for me fucking backfired. My mom doesn't want, she doesn't trust me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I just, I would just want to have something recorded. That way it'll be something that, that, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like. Well, like his side of the story. Like, you're yeah, saying, I feel no? like it would be cool to have, like, before they transition to have just like an interview that you don't put it out. It's not going anywhere, but it stays in the family. Yeah. Shit. I mean, you go see him what, twice a week? Yeah. Fucking one of those days, you know, just, hey, apa, siéntese, vamos a, vamos a platicar. Yeah, no, I mean, we could just set it up, but mm -hmm. I was thinking of doing that way. Just to have, like, just to have, like, because I'm sure a lot, a, lot, a lot of people have, like, they, their loved ones pass away and they still have, like, a voicemail. Yeah. They still have a text or, you know, it's just a, a memory that they latch on to. How cool would it be to just have, like, a video and an actual fucking podcast or just talking like you have that? Like, why is this? Like, por qué? ¿Y por qué esto? No, ¿qué esto? Well, yeah, it's the history of your family, too, no? Yeah. Same thing, same, like you're saying. Like, you got the, the, the other side también, like you're saying. Your sister's we, también when they're ready or whatever. Yeah. We thought about, like, like because obviously everybody's mom's the best cook out there and shit. Oh, yeah. My but, mom's not that great. My grandma was pretty good, But I, I talked about <laughs> it with my sisters. It's like, we should just have her write all the recipes and then just make a book that stays in the family, like a cookbook, and have all my mom's recipes from the salsas, to like the fucking pozole or whatever, but just have it that she writes down, and then we just kind of make a book out of it. So, so my my sisters, or I think they're trying to do that with my grandma. Way, mm -hmm. pero my my other sister, I, maybe I understood it wrong. I don't know, pero I'm gonna tell it the way I fucking understood it. Mm -hmm. They try to do it with my grandma, you know, like fucking all the like, like the tortillas, the pinche albondigas, all like the little dishes that she made or whatever, all the classic shit. They try to get a little notebook, you know, and fucking, okay, como hace esto? But my sister got frustrated that everything was like, okay, so cuánto le echa de esto? 
No, pues, pues tanto así. <risa> ¿Pero cuánto es con... eso? Yeah. ¿Pero cuánto es eso? Yeah. No, pues ya sabes, así, yeah. un poquito nomás, no salsa. No, 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 pero like, she's like, pues cuánto es de la like, half a teaspoon, yeah. is that what is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Una And cucharada, then... una taza, ¿qué? <laughs> so she would get frustrated that she didn't know how much. Because when you think about it, we, like, we, we, if, if you're like a critical thinker and all that shit, and you start studying the history of countries, the history of like people that are like, you know, like have done shit in this world either good or bad you read about them but we don't have that for our families way like let's say a hundred years from now like people are our, our, our nephews and shit um or just you know our family kind of evolves and if they have like a book or something or some kind of history to that pass down like we don't do that with families like no we don't we don't we don't we you don't, don't air out the cheese that's what it is yeah probably right? <laughs> you know just imagine having a book like you know tu tia Pinche fulanita se, se fue con el, con el primo de tu, de tu tía. Like, what the fuck? Well, you, don't want, you don't want that shit being, you, don't, yeah, you, don't you know, that. aired out. But, you know, you, you're right. I think, uh, like, look, I, I love talking. It's shocker. But I think that, like, if, if my nephews or anything at some point want to know who their tío Ramón was, yeah, they could tune into the fucking podcast. Right, right Shit. away. Shit. I mean, this it, thing they could review. Well. They could review it on iTunes. We're yeah. gonna, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to pay the the fucking house house hosting for fucking <laughs> forever. Hopefully, way. hopefully it gets to the point where like you know the shuffle will be. You know, a, a living <laughs> entity, of a living entity <laughs> where like a lot of the recordings will be in the Library of Congress or the Library of fucking <laughs> fucking Ball Heights or Linwood or whatever, you know, oh, shit. it'll be digitalized and copied. You know me? Of course you do. That's because I'm famous. <laughs> you know, they'll be nah. like, oh, my God. You know, my, my mom and my dad Ramon. talked about my tío Ramon and like, I think I know him now. I wish I would have met him. Ramon, Ramon's <laughs> thinking like in. 30 years Netflix is going to approach us to, to make a documentary and we're all old as shit trying to remember the podcast. Fuck. <laughs> no, see, we all hate each other. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not making is Esteban going to be? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm uh, not making that movie with that fucker. Fuck that, dude. I don't, wanna, I don't want my fucking image associated yeah, with fuck. him. We don't, I can't be in the same room as these fucking guys. I, I don't, I don't want to fucking talk to that Bitcoin millionaire. Fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck that guy. He left us in the wind. Even he, though he told us about yeah, it, yeah, right. he didn't even give me one bitcoin it's kind of true eh? i wanted i wanted like two percent of it that's hey, it i mean yeah he dijo, that's, a la, a la verge. that's what we're working for i know i just needed one to like, talk to you i don't want it mother? i don't want it i really don't want it I like I, and i keep telling like the miha and i, I think you it's all funny what? What i don't want to I, I don't i want to get old with you at those you know hey, mm. we're getting old boy. i know no but i want to get to the point like where we like, are getting old together right? no we are but like to the point where like we're all retired and then like hey wait what are you doing today nah, aquí jalándome el pinche. Hey, when we started you still had color in that goatee right? i know yeah no shit <laughs> way. i could see it bro mm -hmm. Fucking, hey, let's fucking vamos a, vamos, let's go fucking golf dude. that goatee looks like george clooney now eh? yeah it's a little yeah. bit more salt. Oh, no. Do you want to see my 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 huevo go tea? Aye, it's a little bit more salt. And I got some canas down there too, bro. Aye, I'm sure you do. I don't know. Chile, if I could like, uh. shit, that's when you know it's downhill where you start getting canas <laughs> in your balls. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta I gotta I gotta go through the the trimmings. I gotta see we have una cana or those. Oh, uh, just keep them where fucking. <laughs> Pretty soon, pretty the ones soon that the ones that like I, I do like end up plucking out are the ones in the cejas. Ya me han salido como cuatro en la pinche ceja. Y las orejas también, ¿no? No, no, no. Yeah. I did have a scare the other day. Fucking yeah, um um, not a scare. It's I fucking Pinch first world well. first world problems, right? So I'm coming. Uh, I'm going home, and I look in the rear view mirror, and I and I see something like black right here in my nose. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck is it? So I'm trying to rub it off. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, cabrón, es un pinche pelo. And I thought it was like on the tip of my nose. I'm like, no fucking way. I'm going to be that, that, that old man que le está saliendo pinche fucking pelos on the nose, right? Yeah. So, and una de esas que I get it, it, it was from the inside. It got long and it curled up. Way. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, all right, cool. <laughs> it's not on my nose, you know? Que chiste ni que mis huevos. Dude, si, si me, si me sacó un pedo esa madre. Fuck, bro. I don't want to have no, him here on my nose. Oh, is know? that even a possibility? Yeah. I've seen people, I've seen fucking the tios con pinche, tienen como cinco, seis pelos en la nariz. I'm like, dude, do you not see it? Can't, you know, just pluck it out. I don't give a fuck. I think you get way. to the point where you don't give a shit, right? Like Fernando says. Yeah, but then it's like, 
I mean, you're of course you're gonna notice people looking at you and making that face, like, what the fuck is that? Like, oh fuck, you know, some pelos, man, déjalos. <laughs> you know, like I mean, the ears and shit. You know, I'm like fuck. Yeah, it's fucking wisdom, bro. You see, a, you see, a, if you see a lawyer and you got caught up on some shit, and you fucking go and you go to the office and you see this little short man with hair in his ear, fucking. You're gonna be fucking like this guy dry has flakes. This guy has history. I'm gonna hire this fucking man. Know, man. <laughs> he, know, he knows the law. <laughs> I, I, know, can, I can tell from the hair coming out of his nose that he, uh, his he doesn't give a but fuck about personal. Hey, all he does is work. This is the guy I want. But that one could go either way. Either no. está bien chingón or oh, está bien chingado. Or he's gonna be like, uh, <laughs> there, there's a something I'm supposed to do here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of. I used to cars. have a when I was going to IT Tech. I mean, chaparrito like. Fucking, dude, flaky, hair everywhere. Fucking, you can see the stains on his shirts and his pants. And <laughs> Man, pinche Ramon. I'm like, dude, I'm like, is this guy a teacher? Like, Were you looking in the murk, little? <laughs> no, way. I was in my prime, way. I was in, yeah, you know, I was in my prime. I was, in my I was prime. like 1920, way. Oh, Shit, way. Anyway. That's your prime. That's not the prime, in. way. Yeah, I was, I was You're young. You're prime right now, bro. What do you mean? No, that was my prime. I'm my prime in my youth. Don't tell me you peaked early, way. Come on. No, I was in the prime of my youth. We're like fucking, you know. You're still nah, tender. Me, me metía putazos y nada, güey. Como que si nada. Eh, pinche moletón. Like, ah, we're good. It, it looked like that pie was baked, but in the inside, it was still tender, bro. Está <laughs> <laughs> crudo, el hijo de la chingada. Estabas yeah. bien crudo, el hijo de la I'm at the peak, bro. That, that fork todavía oh, salió really? todo pinche dirty. I know, really. You're at the peak, huh? Come here. <laughs> Let me fucking stab you with this fork. <laughs> <laughs> A ver cómo yeah, sale. papa cruda. Yeah, well, you got 20 more years to go. Dale, wey. No, I mean, I'm good right now. You yeah. Know? But, yeah, it's just one of those, like, dude, I don't know. I don't want to be that old, crusty man. Ay, wey. You're not going to give a shit, wey. Ay, ay, dude. No salgo de la casa sin peinarme, wey, todavía. And that's, you know, ando de fodongo. I, I, I might be following on the house, but gonna salgo? No fucking way, dude. Yeah, no, you got standards, way. Yeah, I'm a, you know. Yeah, but you're still fucking, we're still a good ways before we're talking about we. Yeah, I think you're talking about like 60s, 70s. Dude, dude that's 70s, not far. 80s, that's way. like 15 years from now. You're going to be 70 in 15 years? No, 60 in 15 years. Yeah, was, you think about it in 15 years, bro. You still got 15 years. That, that, that's that's four times this podcast. No, three oh, times. Pretty got some new <laughs> shoes, way. I know, no, I was just those, noticing that. Yeah, no, didn't move. No, 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 you know, with the tongue sticking out? And the cuff pants. I always Jesus. have the cuff pants. Right? No, they, you always have them tapered. They're like, just there. No. It's stylish, bro. I don't know. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait we're going to go back to these videos. Yeah. And most of the pants that I see, because you wear the khaki ones, yeah. they're like. Oh, the khakis are the khakis. They're full of. These are Levi's. You're comparing fucking khakis to Levi's. I hardly see them with jeans. Is this some Wendell's some Levi's? 90% of the time I'm wearing fucking okay, I gotta check the videos check no, out he's videos. wearing jeans but I've never seen those shoes right? yeah these are I brought them out of the fucking retirement closet we no shit bro because if that's the case yes. then I haven't paid attention to, to Fernie's pants but <laughs> I know that Esteban cuffs them up and I know I cuff them up oh he tries to say you're a poser bro oh, fuck Man, yeah that's what he's trying poser. to say why, all why, of a sudden he wants three look, relax homie? frajo chile <laughs> why are you chalking the look homie I know fucking all of a you're sudden you're the guy that wears fucking wrinkly khakis where you don't wear fucking <laughs> cuffed up <laughs> jeans eso sí sí He's on point. You're <laughs> off. <laughs> El Esteban, I mean, yeah. El Esteban okay. pays attention to e me. Thank e you, Esteban. Every, every time. Yeah, but I forget your birthday because I want. I was going to get you an iron for your birthday. Bro, <laughs> una plancha. It's in December. No. I'll, I'll text you. Te quiero dar una planchada. Let, let me give you. <laughs> El planchado. Let, let me give you a pro tip. Don't waste your money. Ah, uh, no. I'm sure. Get him that steamer one. Way. The oh, wand or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, Remember the that. one for the 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 K. You can have that, that's why ninety percent of the time I wear the Levi's because maybe uh, maybe I'll invent a bag that you put your jeans in in the microwave and then fucking <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> fuck fuck yeah. Yeah. dude, I think I'll fucking make some money, oh, bro. Shit, yeah, dude. I just discovered the fucking air fryers. They're oh, right. they're fucking yeah. bomb. Dude. That's what I heard. No, we have one. We yeah? have the Instapot and an air fryer. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was I was fucking. My chick was telling me about them. I was like, oh, air fryers? What the fuck? Do we air fry like zucchini? But you know that's way. Like I can't just say air fryer. I gotta know how it works. Like what yeah. the fuck you mean air fryer? <laughs> yeah, air, air, during the COVID, we got the air fryer and all that shit. Because she was telling right, me that. Oh no, before because it's for Christmas. Like you could put like fucking like fries or something, yep. and it just fucking. We put everything. Dude, in there. you don't even have to soak them in oil or lard or anything. That's crazy. Las chuletas, bro. we throw them in there. Chicken wings. Yeah. We throw chicken wings in there. That's crazy, Bing! bro. 
Well, done. I mean, with the kids, all the fucking también todo se lo meto ahí for lunch, whatever, when they're yeah. fucking the whole time. Mm-hmm. Making all the lunches. I, I think I even did burgers or once. Really? Hago taquitos dorados. This is the papa. So, so how, I mean, fuck, that's crazy. Where? Yeah, that's you cool. just roll them up. Fucking, put this a little toothpick. You throw them in there, put a little spray of like avocado oil or something. Cannot, you know. And then, um, fucking, depending on the time, ding, yeah, yeah. just done nice and crunchy. <laughs> nice, bro. Yeah, technology. I'm gonna invent that way. How about that? Where you the use fucking, my product? The fucking microwave. The bag. You put jeans in the bag. You put I'll, a microwave. I'll, I'll, I'll endorse that shit. in the bag. You can even put those Levi's you, in the air fryer. You, you can. You can use my. I know little pinchy chicken wings. The, you can the, use my before and after pictures. It's a pinchy. This product's gonna be top of the line, bro. No, as soon as they see the before and this after product, the khakis. Yeah. This, so this product's gonna have an eye in front of it. I still gotta come up with the name. Just throw it in the fucking dryer for like five minutes, wait. Nah. Salad Micro. That shit doesn't send it. Eh. It's the novelty. That's dude. what I've done. Yeah, like my it, shirts or whatever. Like I'll just wait, throw them in there. Hey, it says a guy that we don't worry about the future. Look at this. It's <laughs> fucking. He throws clothes in the dryer to iron it. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> How much does that cost in electricity? Wait. It's like five minutes. Wait. Oh yeah, five minutes. I got it's an like, eco-friendly like fucking, dryer. It's like fucking three icebergs in Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> He's like it's only one glacier. That's <laughs> <laughs> a pinchy polar bear. Yeah, he was old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. was gonna die anyway. Yeah, you, don't, you, mad, you, cabrón, don't, you don't need this glacier. I got yeah, pinches penguinos para que sirven ni vuelan. Who even goes to Antarctica? Fuck that. <laughs> Where is that? I'm gonna I, iron my shit in my dryer. Let, no, not only that. They don't let anybody just go to Antarctica, right? No, you gotta be some kind of explorer. Yeah, so I'm like, what well, fuck? Because pues, si nunca voy a ir a la chingada. Que soy Christopher hey, Columbus. Like they say, si la montaña no viene a mí, yo voy a la montaña. Jesus so right here, Christ. I'm going to have the mountain come to me. Jesus Christ. I, every, I'm going to float down. So every time you iron your fucking, every time, every time you iron your pants, we lo- we gain a, a temperature, a degree, it goes up. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, th- and then he goes, oh, shit, I forgot to put my pants in there. So he does ah, it again. Fuck. I know, I know. So I now turn uh, 10 minutes. You know what? Pues ahorita que está haciendo frío, I want to mind having my calzoncitos and my calcetines nice and warm too. Let me throw them in there. Yeah, yeah planchar my calcetines, he says. Yeah. With my bag, you could do all that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why, how is it any different from huh? a microwave or air fryer still taking up energy? Nah, this is different, bro. It's, <laughs> fucking, it's modern. The, the microwave doesn't take up a lot of juice like the dryer way. It's fucking... The microwave takes a chingo of juice. Yeah, in yeah. much shorter time. Use it's it. not, yeah. not five minutes, though. Not, not like a fucking dryer way. a circuit, He way. says he puts 30 seconds where he fucking yeah, pants no, It's going to be specifically designed to put the... Def- you don't even have to... It's gonna be so easy where you just gotta put defrost pizza and then that's enough time for it. <laughs> There's gonna be a button that says fucking planchar. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get into that market to get with LG or something to make them put my logo on the pump of the button. A button way. <laughs> Think about iron. it, Dick. You're making your estasa coffee and your pants are getting fucking, oh, fucking iron. The pants will be done before your ca- your cafecito. Yeah, no. Worries. And you can put some fucking hot pockets in there with the fucking pants. This is perfect. For one. This is perfect for those people that live in those studios for three thousand where they don't have a lot of room. <laughs> <laughs> one thing does it all. Way. Yeah, it's just fucking. Um, yeah, yeah. Pues ya fuck que it. I'll take one. Fuck yeah. it. Why not? You know, pues aquí le dan pan que no llore. Yeah, that's turning into a party right here. Right no, no, you guys are fucking a little rowdy. Karaoke now. Oh, Jesus. shit. Yes. But let, let us finish recording first. No yeah. way. <laughs> We're almost there. And shit. Before so, you yeah, start your karaoke. I'm just saying, fucking el planchado over here. Oh, All of a sudden, I notice his cuff pants. I don't know about ironing your shit in the dryer. That's kind of crazy. I've done it like when it's on, on a rush. Like, the, the, oh, the shit. Cami- it works for the camisas okay. Yeah. But like fucking the pants. No, nah, los pantalones no, way. Because well, that's as soon what you're as I said that, no, me, I said the, the shirts. The I'll shirts. Th- my product We're is gonna... jeans and uh, khakis. Yeah. The, the, the There's yeah. money in that. Salud, way. Yeah. I'm gonna open there. Hold on. Yeah, there, there, there's money in fucking. It's, it's Vicio Saturday. Making people a little bit more uh, lazy. That's my goal. Like you're saying, bro, the apartments are gonna get a fucking. <sighs> Like Japan, tiny apartments, oh, way so the microwave is gonna have to do everything. The microwave is the one stop. You don't need any refrigerator. Hey, wait, por qué no te dedicas a hacer like that fucking Back to the Future pizza? We put una chiquitita thing, sale ya toda mamada. We talked about it, making the tortas where you just add water. Oh, yeah, remember? <laughs> we did. Yeah. That's a little complicated. Dude, there, there's been a lot of ideas right here, way <laughs> patent pending. <laughs> <laughs> Only we had the the startup money, you know, so when the back is up financially. Yeah, we we, we got one. ideas a lo. Pendejo, we need to get one of these trillionaires on our fucking. Well, we got tobacco. ideas. We just don't have drive <laughs> <laughs> or follow through. <laughs> we so just throw it, them out there. Yeah. If, if you want to buy one of these ideas, hit this, us up. This is the beauty of this podcast: is if you're an entrepreneur, you should be listening to this shit because there's a lot of gems. <laughs> the one I'm waiting for is the iWhatsApp. 
<laughs> yeah, like WhatsApp, that's an old yeah. one way. It's stuck in development, bro. Yeah, I was, the app. It's a very mon, mon, uh, that industry is hard to fucking break into. It. It's really hard to make an app. So gotta yeah, think about well, it. I don't know what the the microwave people are gonna think about you planchando. Hey, wait, we're fucking uh, minorities. I'm gonna pull that card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk in put with it, a put it to use. I'm gonna wear a Nakaxa jersey to the meeting and be like, hey, I'm just a humble kid from Linwood. Come on, I have a vision and a dream. You know, don't we all? You can keep the American dream from me. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you, you can have Ramon just puff pantallar yeah. behind you with the high socks. I'm gonna put the hot the hot Cheeto guy as a reference. Jeez, <laughs> as a reference. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a Chicano oh, idol, man. Goodbye. I'm gonna show up with my fucking 42 in me, or what is what is it? <laughs> it says I'm fucking native, I'm bro. I'm 35% native American, bro. You took my land. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, wait a minute. What's the percentage for for you to claim at the casinos? Like, you know, it depends on the, not the, sure, the bro. thing, with, like the tribe. Yeah, that, that you come from. So you think I could get a check with my thirty five percent of America? I'm, I'm not, you know, be fucking nice. Th those guys raise it all the time when to fucking cut people. They yeah. do. Look, I'm uh, where is it? Uh, thirty five point nine percent Native American. It says here the third, bro. The the one I'm not too proud of is fifty six point three percent uh Southern European. But I guess we're <laughs> <laughs> hey, so that's it. Italy, that Italy not Portugal, no it's Portugal, Spain, Portugal. Yeah, yeah, they came Spain. and fucking raped our women with. Mm. Right away, that's the one that's all blacked out with the no, resume. I'm not, I'm not too proud of being 56. Uh, so we don't want, we don't need to talk about my uh, Southern European heritage. Hey, sir, I, I'm a minority, but right here it says you're more than 50 percent European. Right here it says you're fucking European. It is way to puto. You're European, bro. Uh, no, 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 no. Southern too. No, 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 they got or, they got nice sun on there. We're bro. going from minority, and I'm 35 percent uh, Native American. So don't even look at the. the southern, the Never European. mind that line. Just look, focus on this one. The European was my abusive side. <laughs> I'm more Native American. <laughs> Don't focus on 56.3% European. <laughs> what a 50% win, mom is winning. 56. Uh, I gotta thank my mom for that because she's light skinned. I'm sure she got more of that. Uh, the I'm Spanish. curious, but uh, still dad, a soccer win. That's, that's after, gonna be a hard sell win. Yeah, I, I won't tell them that I'm, I'm fucking that way. I just tell them oh, uh, 33%. 35, oh, 35 Five percent Native American. Hey, yeah, yeah. hey pero, uh, um, so, so, so I watch Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the, the other sixty-five percent? <laughs> uh, we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to get into all that. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, 30, 30, That's that's that's, that's significant. That's significant. I'm more than twenty-five percent requirement right here. <laughs> I I don't meet the quota for the casino, but yeah, I do for this grant. Yeah, they keep raising that. I don't know. Man. Yeah, it's because more and more. I mean, yeah, like you, you just mentioned Rumble. Money, bro. Yeah. Rumble, it's a... Uh, What's up, bro? I'm saying that the casino shit, I mean, is money, bro. It's a lot like of they, money, bro. They, they, they start cutting out people. With so can well, the black community, we were talking about it because, you know, there's a little community in, in the black community that say that, you know, oh, they're, the, they're the real Native Americans, which, I mean, if you really look at it, way, it kind of makes sense, way, you know? So they started claiming, like, to these, these uh, Native Americans that have, like, like you know, casinos and stuff, and then they were like, "Oh no, 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 no! Let's raise it up more." <laughs> that, that, that's when they said, "What's the other sixty-five yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, percent?" Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, do I you always, guys do you guys believe that way? I mean, I you it's know, kind what? of a far stretch, but like, how how what were their Which, original the natives? Question? Like, where where were they from? Where, like, well, where well, they from? It well, said they came from Africa. Way. That's what there's. That's what it. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. That's the cra cradle of civilization. Because yeah. yeah. there's some black people that that feel like they weren't like forts here a lot. Their people fucking made a boat and came over here like and that's before. possible which is, i mean when you think about the ruins and like you know like similarities like the drums like, and over here was also used i mean yeah you could say like the hierog not the hieroglyphics but the what is it the, the 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 cave drawings and shit like that i mean a lot of that's been shared not what the the war paint fucking the, the body like what is it um like altering your body for your tribe or whatever, because they're they're like uh, steps or establishments or or levels that you've passed as your 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 life. Yeah, it, you know, goes like you know you got not merit badges, but you got certain recognitions. Like okay, your first hunt, you get this fucking either this scar or you get this fucking amulet or this thing or this feather or this whatever it was because you know you already passed that level right away. Someone says they have thirty five percent, yeah. Somos muy indios. Somos Native Americans. Somos Native Americans. Shit, I've been here since the beginning of time, bro. Dude, I mean, you guys met my dad. Fucking, that fucking looks 
Pinche. Nah, that's pretty tall for a fucking. Wait, you shit up my 56% Southern European, but I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure if you fucking take uh, 23 of me, I'm sure. I'll be. I'm sure your Portuguese and Spanish is pretty high too, bro. I don't know, dude. I think it's it's Spanish and some French way. I, I honestly I, think that. You know, French? Because I, uh, I like tortas and it's bread. So. They're baguettes. <laughs> <laughs> you have nothing French in you, bro. Wait, French. The only French you have in you are those French, French fries, fries in the air fryer. <laughs> right away, yeah. French. This is the, the closest to French you got is a song right here. No, the, wait, the closest you got to French was that lady you did. My, my, I know, seriously. <laughs> my grandparents are from Los Altos de Jalisco mm. on my mom's side. That you guys have met my mom. Yeah. You know, she's very light skinned. She has How colored eyes. Prove you know. How is she you French, Dick? <laughs> uh, not saying, but there's some French lineage there. But I'm, I'm saying, sure there dude, is. I'm sure you have like, like, if you look at my 23 of me, where there's like, there's shit that's like, that's what you would claim, where? Like, look, I have. <laughs> but his proof is like, look, I'm you point, see my mom. 0.8 Jewish, it says on this, 0.8 British and Irish. Um, I have 0.2 Indonesian, Thai. Some shit. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Start well, don't claiming, tell Bernie because it's Chinito. Way. I know. <laughs> it is Chino way. No, point six. Like West African, 2.7%. I'm West African. Start uh, claiming, boy. Start I know. Claiming. I'm start claiming all this shit. You know what? <laughs> Fuck this. Wait, you know what? I'm Native American. I'm also black. Fuck so, it. So you're Espanol, Portuguese. I'm fucking, dude. I'm oppressed. So you I, could I, I, in I'm the oppressed. World Cup, in the World Cup, you could technically wear all the jerseys. Then. I'm fucking oppressed, bro. I'm <laughs> on the land. <laughs> hey, I, I like that Ramon goes, you want proof? You've seen my mom, right? You've seen my mom, right? <laughs> you see. Oh, because I'm only going uh, that because it's the stuff I was saying, like his mom is light skinned too. But, but, yeah. But that's, that's what I'm saying. You're going to be like a high percentage of you is, is Southern but, European. But that was after he fucking his dad went failed. Wait, you seen my dad. Yeah. <laughs> In Indian cabron. No, I think I think your mom's light yeah, skin like my mom. I think, I think I think you're gonna have more Southern European than yeah. the native. Ah oh, shit! Mm-hmm. Oh, it's bien prieto. No, let my have it. And your dad's fucking pretty tall, no? Yeah, yeah, he's pretty tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying that the, 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 yeah, the, 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 the yeah, my dad was tall. So that's what I'm saying. That, no, 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 it's kind of it's kind of interesting. You should do it, way, Dick. You know, Dick. Then you can start debating. Now you, you start, start now, yeah, you can start debating, reading the room hey, uh, as a certain European right here. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is I, bullshit. I'm going to have to go and change all my nationality and all the forms. Que pongo Chicano <laughs> or Latino. Fucking European. Dude, but, the, the shit, because I'm all over the fucking place. You could stop saying, you've seen my mom. <laughs> no, mama, you see my dad. It'll be funny. Hey, bro. Cuando, cuando me conviene, I want to fucking European. Like you see my mom. I'm like yeah, you're native. Or like you see you my dad. Pull, see my you dad, can pull yeah. up your phone, like Esteban. Well, I got a picture where just in case people <laughs> don't fucking believe me. There, come here. There's a big block like this fucking blacked out way it's redacted. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. Why is half this? Why is half this pie chart fucking black? Yeah, don't, never mind that one. Eh? <laughs> don't look at that. Look at my point one percent Sudanese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oppressed, bro. I'm point eight Nigerian fucker. What the fuck? Look at that guy. Yeah, no, yeah, for yeah. sure, way, yeah, native for sure, way, <laughs> for for sure, French. Yeah. Yeah, on channel, Dude, I don't see French right yeah, there. Yeah, that's put a French right there. I don't see French. <laughs> <laughs> your mom probably you're, way. You're right, the, French. Probably your mom, but your dad's more fucking. Yeah, way, me pinche, era el pinche bigote de. That's your dad. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. To the left. Uh, to, to the left. Yeah, it hangs yeah, right, to right, the left. Yeah, right here. That's not the left way. Oh, my left. Okay, I was I was looking at this lady yeah. right here like that's my dad. He's like, you gotta remember, you gotta remember, it's a mirror image, way. Uh, fuck it, I started taking pictures when I when I went Dude, to the house. One of, one of the I fr- man, I forget his name, way, but he's, hey, wait, is this little girl holding a beer? She is, way, or maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like barbecue <laughs> sauce. Hey, w- one of the guys that rides bikes with the what is it, the mayonesa? Uh-huh. There's this dude that was at the event right here. This kind of shorter guy. Oh, Carlos. Carlos. A little gordito, kind of. Uh, well, maybe Carlos. A really nice What's dude. What's up, Carlos? He's a really nice guy, he right? Shit, I, I think I hope. Yeah, shout out to him, man. Maybe but he, he, he was. Um, he, he came up to me and we kind of shooting the shit, and he shows me a picture, like he's trying to tell me that his kid plays guitar, way. So he shows me He's a trying to bond, bro. She, she show, yeah, he shows me a picture, and there's there's this black kid, and then there's there's a lighter skinned kid. He doesn't tell me anything. Where he just tells me, <laughs> "Oh, look, this is my son." So I'm like, 
I'm assuming your son is this one, right? Because if this was your son, I got some questions to ask. But, uh, <laughs> Can I see your 23 and me or whatever? <laughs> oh, man. But he, he's a really cool guy. I, I wish I would have ch- chatted up with him a little bit more. I hope he didn't take that offense where I was like thinking like, damn, maybe I... You don't just ask t- those questions that day, bro. But it was just two kids, right? One of them was black. He's telling me, look, this is my son. You got to like, wake up, bro. I don't know. <clears throat> Could have been the other one. <laughs> I, I'm going to blame my, my Southern European uh, <laughs> prejudice. My racist side. <laughs> my 50, 55% my, racist side. My 56%. Uh, 56. Fucking. Uh, it gets worse. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. My fucking. I don't know. Man. I'm not going to not gonna do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to stay a mystery. I am but you're the one talking about learning your history, ship. Yeah, I mean, well, he was. He spent yeah, half the episode. I don't, I don't I mean, need to is, know my, my start. I don't need to know my my my. I don't know what is it. Your like what I win. Dig your babas are all over the fucking place. You're worried about <laughs> tracking. Where I mean, come on, Dick. Dick, I, I, we just scraped the microphone off come a little on, bit. Dick. <laughs> Send it in for you. Yeah. <laughs> come on. <laughs> no shit, bro. <laughs> hey, 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 bag up the cigarettes, the cigar, cigar. Let, bag let, up the cigar. No, no. Let's plan a uh, like a trip somewhere, and then we'll fucking take his mask off when he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> get his drawer. Away. <laughs> and then we we'll don't have to, porque a veces te lo avienta. Just put like a little napkin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you got to spit like two or three times in this thing. <laughs> well, it's got to be a good let's quantity. Do it, bro. Let's do it. <laughs> You're the one talking about, oh, we don't know no, no, our history. I'm talking about our oral bro, history. This you know? like, fuck this it. doesn't care about history. <laughs> like, we need to fucking know where we're from. <laughs> oh, fuck we're, that. I take it a three, 23 uh, me. <laughs> I'm French. Fuck it. No, I'm not. Wait. Let's talk about you see my dad? I'm, I'm French. French. Look at my dad. I'm French. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Like, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and then when that, that one doesn't work, look at my mom. <laughs> look at my mom. I'm French, bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, mama. All right, no, wait. Awesome. That's it, wait. It seems like we're uh, done, huh? We're stretching yeah. it. Yeah. I read the music, I wear. There we go. Oh, that was fun, man. It's good to be back. <clears throat> it's good to have you back. Well, my, my job here is done, bro. I've converted it. I'm on. He's come to the fucking socialist side, bro. No <laughs> shit, gonna... bro. Oh, Social? no, no. We're, we're, we're futurists now. Futurists. Is that, is that a yeah, yeah, thing? Yeah. We're we people. Yeah, we're, there's a lot of we in this we're conversation now. <laughs> Semi-woke. <laughs> We're, we're in that moment where you're like, you want to wake up, but it's still kind of early. Estás bosteciando, güey. Se te estás pegando las cobijas, you know? You're just like looking around, focusing. Yeah. You know, like, hey, wait, don't talk. You're, you're, you're checking like the, the fucking clock. A ver si me tengo que levantar, you know? Fuck, I got That's five funny. more minutes. Five more minutes. I'm French. We wake up a little late. <laughs> <laughs> Hola raza, pues un chingo de gracias. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Okay, I hope we well, we hope you made your day. You know, you're fucking having a good time, laughing, or like, oh, estos cabrones ya me cabronaron otra vez con sus pendejadas. Blah blah blah. Hey, uh, don't forget, um, Fernie and I, and um, Fernie and I will be at uh, d- December 9th in Harvells in Long Beach with the Latino Happy Hour fucking podcast. Esteban will just be around in the crowd. I see lo encuentran. I fucking bug him. Nah. Or, or not. We'll see. Show him pictures. <laughs> show him pictures and shit. Show him pictures of your, of your which one might be your kid. I'll be there. <laughs> You know, fucking, don't forget, también tenemos cafecito, ahorita que está, well, fucking the weather, at least in California right now, at least está medio cabrón, güey. It's up and down. It's fucking one day it's cold stop, and one day stop it's fucking, fucking hot. Stop ironing your shit in the dryer so we can get to <laughs> winter, bro. <laughs> so, hey, chick, go fucking compres un cafecito, you know, help out the raza over here, help out some farmers, help out, you know, people fucking get out there. A little cup of coffee help goes a long way. Get yourself a little estaza. Exactly. Eh? E A S T A Z A. Porque I know some people. I, I get it. It's confusing. I laugh, but it, it is. <laughs> uh, don't forget, we got a Patreon page. You know, Chica- Chicano Show for Patreon dot com. Chicano. 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 It's Chicano. Chicano. Get get a discount on your twenty three and me. <laughs> <laughs> Affiliate link. <laughs> don't, don't actually don't get a twenty three anyway, guys. Because no. you're gonna find out you're more oppressed than you think. <laughs> <laughs> or or you might be French when 
And you'll be like, yeah, fucking, no wonder I felt kind of elitist at some point. Now I know where I get it from. <laughs> yeah, yeah you'll, you'll, it's kind of sad. <laughs> After Ramon gets his little test back, he's going to show up with a little beret. Like, mm-hmm. Little bread, no a, a little a beret, yeah, a little, little, little French mustache. Oui, oui, oui. Oh, voulez-vous, monsieur? <laughs> monsieur. <laughs> hey, have you guys ever had French toast? <laughs> I used to call it freedom toast, but now. Hasta comiendo sin pirote. Wait, it's supposed to be a baguette, yeah, but I don't know where you buy that. <laughs> I, 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 you know, my people are oppressed. I don't know where there's a French bakery around my Yeah, we're oppressed as fuck, bro. That's I, what I'm saying. I only know el fucking. ¿Cómo se llama el supermarket? El uh, Northgate. I only know. They don't sell that at Northgate, eh? You know? I go for the telera, but sometimes I'm like, I feel like a virote or. No, you know, fucking. But yeah, fucking now we're just. Uh, also, don't forget, we got a uh, merch at chicanashuffle.com at the shop. Check it out. We got camisas, we got sweaters, we got. I, I forgot to put that, that fucking shirt, but I'll, I'll, I'll get on. <laughs> I just remember when you mentioned the merch. A que santo nos encomendamos, we. All, all two people that ask about the shirt, my bad. Uh, I'll, I'll put it up this week. I forgot. That's two people that didn't have a shirt, Ferns. I know. Yeah. Those two people are valuable, bro. What are you talking yeah. about? Well, the, the Los Dos, maybe maybe half of one will buy. Genial. <laughs> I think that's your Southern European side, man. Yeah, I'm fucking. A little douche. harsh. A little that, harsh. I, I was, was going to say that's my, my point eight something else, but that's, that's, <laughs> we might get canceled. Let me see what I. What's a point eight? I want to see what I can blame all my shit on. Let's see. Right, let's see. Uh, what are we going for? The point eight? That's yeah, what we're blaming? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying my color side. Oh, <laughs> here, Jewish. I'm point eight. I told you we're going to get I'm point eight Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't send your complaints to Fernando. Nah, I didn't say it. Wait, I got uh, Stefan, I, I I got back. Back. What the <laughs> fuck? I'm Jewish, bro. I'm point eight. That can't be offensive, dick. What else? <laughs> what else am I going to blame? Let's see. My 23. I guess it is legit way. He is point eight way. Yeah, he could. You could say he it. Could I can't. Shit. You hey, could I, say it. I can't. Hey, I'm point eight Nigerian. Where like, can no transa? No, no, hey, you should so. join the marathon. He's going to start sending in emails way he's a prince <laughs> <laughs> a Nigerian prince I'm East African 1.1 dude and hey, this is actually more interesting than I fucking gave it a thought bro <laughs> hey but what's the other 65% hey hey, hey, hey. Well, whoa why don't we get on there bro we're doing so good man <laughs> that's a majority way no, Aki she... and China, we, that's we, were, we were going with the point eights, bro. That's what we're blaming all our shit on. The point that's eights. You said point eights. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I give you the point eights. <laughs> oh, that's true. Ay, culeros. Yeah, well, you'll realize that you're more oppressed than you think, guys. <laughs> it's not good. Don't You don't recommend, right? You realize that you're in everything. And we're all shit and we're all fucked. Oh, fuck. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, man. Life's good. Life's good, guys. <laughs> buy, buy Bitcoin. He's going to start talking about World War II, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, by, no. by, my, my point A Jewish side is saying buy Bitcoin. Let <laughs> me talk about his family that got fucking run out of fucking Europe with. <laughs> His point eight familia got got run out of his sixty five percent side, <laughs> ended up in the thirty five percent side. Jesus Christ! Wow, <laughs> boy. wow, wow, bro! I got on those cigarros, I gotta, I gotta really study where I'm from, bro. <laughs> what up, us? Raza, fucking have a good time. Um, I know the holidays are coming, so fucking make the best of it, right? Don't forget the cafecito. The Latino Happy Hour event We mentioned all those right? Yeah um, we, There's links on uh, In our Instagram If you don't have Instagram Then Yeah just, I don't know Google maybe I don't remember Wayne. All right okay. So Plan accordingly Hope to see you December 9th Hope to See you next week I mean I hope you wrap it up soon <laughs> I'll ratos with that eh? That's my uh, South African. That's my point eight rhythm right there, bro. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Hey, I'm everything, bro. You're fine. You can't be offensive. All right. I'm going to let you know that way. Thank you, Spantan. Oh, God. That was fun.